Hello, and welcome to the circus. Loki and Freya are super excited for snackies today. So let's get started with that, and then we'll figure out what's going on next. So hopefully you have something to sip <laughs> and a project to stitch on and let the vetching commence. I have quite a few projects going. Oh, there it is. I was like, where did I go? YouTube is so funny, but I'll save my YouTube gripe for an hour from now. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just let us get started. Yeah. <laughs> and... Oh my gosh, yeah, I, so my, it was so funny, I dropped like the, my computer laptop has a magnetic keyboard and the all the rest of the bits and bobs, so mm -hmm. the screen part dropped like two feet from onto carpet, and then it's like, and we do not want to recognize that we have a keyboard here. Why is technology so fickle? <laughs> I don't know. I do drives me know. mentally insane. Do you know what time but of year it is? It's lasted a long time, oh, so. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. It's not new. No. Oh, and I keep talking. She... No, it's okay. Um, I, I eventually during the stream, I will be unboxing this. <laughs> Ooh, this is my fake Dyson. I buy a new one every year and I have two. So I will be unboxing one today and I will be unboxing another one tomorrow on my stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because God. we don't have, we don't have seasons here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like it, it's just going to get hot. It's just like, I, you have to take, you have to be prepared. Right. <laughs> I know. I was going to say Dyson. I have had my same Dyson vacuum cleaner. Let's see here. I think since 2006. <laughs> and it is a Dyson. <laughs> I have a um I have a, <laughs> I have a Dyson as well and I can't believe I'm admitting this. For like 6 months I couldn't figure out how to put it back together and I used to be like, "Oh my gosh, I am too stupid for a Dyson." Because on the <laughs> ball it has like this weird thing where you pull it apart and like because I have so much fabric and thread in my carpet, I constantly have to take my Dyson apart. Yes. And so it wasn't until 2020 did I learn how to truly use my Dyson. <laughs> You're like, we've got all this time together. We should figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, awesome. As the title says, who is it? Yorkshire Soul Girl is helping out this lady behind under the I don't know who's doing so April blouse. I'll figure it out. But I've got some more stuff done. We're gonna print seeing these. I um I've been We're seeing done. those videos because she posts like um right when I it's like 3 30 in the morning and I'm like, oh, I'm still awake. Let me be the oh. first person to watch your video. <laughs> yeah, right, because she's in Australia, so she's it's like it's the middle of the afternoon here. No, she's in uh she's in the UK. Oh, you mean Rowan, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you have you subscribed to Northern Sewing Sisters or whatever the channel's called? I have, I don't I think I have and I have caught their stuff a couple times. <laughs> They're cute, but I'm not a big fan of vlog stuff. If I like people to have a tripod when they're filming because I get motion sick, so I don't last long even if I like listening to their voice if I Hey if I everybody. Watch. Hello, Liz. Hey, Kilroy. Okay, now that everyone's here, YouTube will not let me. Um, I don't think they'll let me play my commercials anymore. So it's almost the end of an era. <laughs> well, you'll have to just save them for Rumble then. <laughs> oh, and Rumble would not let me register Godless Sewing as a name. What? I lost it last night around three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I That's started editing at six o'clock at night and because youtube is so slow uh, my first upload was at midnight and i slowly started taking bits away and it kept on telling me oh copyrighted copyrighted and they they've clamped down and it's stuff i've already posted 
<laughs> yeah, that's funny. And how many of these brands are still like actually in business? <laughs> it's like who owns the copyright to them at this Thank point? Thank you. I'm an archaeologist. I am an archaeologist. <laughs> I like Sears hardly exist. Is Kenmore still making new sewing machines? Like no I'm so way. confused. Sears went under um Sears went under a couple years ago. That's actually a, a desert island in the mall by my house. Sears was literally the entire northern end of the mall with a carousel and everything. And people take pictures over there because it's all dead. It's like completely dead, you know? Oh man. Sad. That, that's that's weird then. <laughs> I'd fight it. I was except it's so like, horrible. Oh, go ahead. No, no, sorry. Like, I was testing it because then I, like, that's why my video is nothing but me talking because um, I cut everything out. I was like, I'm going to be a baby. I'm going to take my football and go home. <laughs> so some of the video doesn't make sense because, I, you know what? I need to read the terms and services because I no longer understand what YouTube is about. Yeah, and I, unfortunately, I think even if you did, there's so many, so much obscure language and moving goalposts that it's impo it's like impossible to keep up with it. Oh, Kilroy, I love absolutely Kilroy. Boo, screw you, YouTube, and <laughs> my name. Um, it really bugs people though. Like the godless name, it bugs. Um, Let's be real. Um, Instagram didn't want me to have underscore godless sewing. That's why my name is godless sewing, sewing in circles. Because yeah, first but... my name was sewing in circles and I changed it to godless sewing. Rumble isn't like that. Doesn't have those types of, I don't, they are I'll funny. Try again I mean, on my... Don't give it up. Try it again. Cause I mean, sometimes when I set up a live stream, I have to do it like three times which sucks because you have to like literally start from the beginning because they're a tiny channel who's signed some huge creators over the past couple of <laughs> days for their servers. Like I don't think can handle all of the traffic. Yeah. My career, I had to get rid of everything, Kilroy. It really, I had a meltdown, but like, I'm glad I have it in this room and Isaiah was with his mom. So when a, a sewing falls in the woods, no one's there to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so when sewing screams in his garage at three o'clock in the morning, is anyone really there to hear it? <laughs> right. Did it really happen? <laughs> but there is, oh, I was, I should have time stamped it because I, um, on Joe Nearman Good Logic Station, he does have a little, a nice, breakdown of how to deal with a generic template for dealing with copyright stuff. But the thing I find frustrating that I hear people complain about is that you basically have to dox yourself in the process of doing it. And that was another weird thing <clears throat> because they have me sign in with my Google account. I don't know. It, my email weirdly has my name and I never signed up for that. I need to start checking things. I just hit agree, 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 like a nonce. And then <laughs> that's the whole reason I um, unsigned up on Odyssey. I was on Odyssey for a while and mm -hmm. um, I talked trash to somebody and they found me on Facebook because my email had my real name. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know. It's a mess. It's a mess. Yeah, well, I think Mercury is also getting ready to go retrograde and it's in its storm and the technology and communication errors have like started in full force already. That's what happened with CBS Plus before it was Paramount Plus. Like <laughs> I've been watching it since the first episode of Discovery, which was like their launch for their for their mm -hmm. network. They've had nothing but bugs. Nothing but, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> And I'm still, like, after all these years, I'm still uh, loyal to Paramount <laughs> Plus, and they've got rid of my show. <laughs> oh, you, you are a sucker still. <laughs> they know Star Trek fans are um, suckers with money, but they better get yeah. us now because we're aging out. We're aging out. Like, Star Trek fans are hitting a certain age where they won't care anymore. <laughs> 
true. I know. How are they going to keep Star Trek for the youngins to keep it exciting unless they destroy it in the process? They have four new shows. But the problem is, like, if you really want to get into it, Discovery, one of the reasons it crashed is because it was part of, like, what people called the woke era. And so a lot of people were like, this is not my Trek, not realizing the first um, interracial kiss on television ever was between um, Nichelle Nichols and William Shatner. Or, mm -hmm. like, you know, so Star Trek has always been kind of woke. It's just it, it became modern and it ticked people off, much like Doctor yeah. Who. Doctor Who right. became modern and people stopped watching it. And that's my show. <laughs> I, I know. So there, why can't there be a lady doctor? Like, who the F cares? And <clears throat> so Star Trek kind of went that route. But we'll see. With Strange New Worlds, they went retro. And everybody, like, like I said in my video, nostalgia sells. So it, right yeah, now, exactly. they're making a killing on nostalgia. Speaking of that, is it really true that they're going to do a live action of Nightmare Before Christmas and Johnny Depp is going to be in it? Or was this like a tease? Well, so far, they, they destroyed the Lion King. I hope, um, um, what's it called? The Little Mermaid isn't completely destroyed. Hey, butterfly. And so... See, here's here's my problem with remakes. I don't like how they are. Um, they're gutting my childhood. They're they're going through the seventies and the eighties, and they're like, oh, let's make a live action. Let's make a live action. <laughs> there. Let's see. The problem oh. is Star Trek. Star Trek fans, you got to watch everything, and nobody wants to watch dozens of hours of stuff just to get into something fair. <laughs> Doctor Who is the same way. They have almost 70 years of stuff to catch up on. That's <sighs> true, but if you start in like the new, you could start with the remake and not seeing the original and understand a story, sort of. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm not griping too hard because like fandoms have destroyed. <laughs> they have destroyed what I consider television. Like yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog came out. Everybody complained. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. And back in the day, if you didn't like something, you just didn't go and see it. And you right. spoke by not spending money. Yep. You know? <laughs> well, speaking of not spending money, oh, that's a good segue. The whole Bud Light debacle and their stock losing, like, what did, did they, I see, it started to come back up, but they lost, like, $5 million in, like, five days. <laughs> it was six. It was six in counting. Six, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I mean, the first problem, who, who was drinking Bud Light in the first place? Like, if you want to drink piss water, then just go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Bud Light is for people like my ex um, father-in-law who loved to drink 45 beers a night. Right. Yes. It was water. It was, it was alcohol it's... water. <laughs> yeah. I agree, Kilroy. Fandoms do stink fandoms they the internet ruined a lot of things for me like i'm obsessed with stargate i unsubscribed to all my stargate groups because people were destroying a show that hasn't been on tv in a long time <laughs> that just doesn't make sense. and that's the thing um bud light they're um billionaires they can take a hit and make a clydesdale commercial next super bowl and every you know that's why like I, I think it's healthy that we get mad at corporations, but we're choosing the wrong corporations. Like, let's let's go after um, General Electric. They own everything. <laughs> and, and Apple and Amazon and Facebook and Google. Because honestly, what's happening right now is like, let there be a problem. Let something go wrong with your technology. You're talking to somebody who has less knowledge than you. Right. We no longer, like, these corporations are outsourcing everything. Probably killer, right? Their stock probably did recover after a while, and they did get they a lot it. of free advertising. I made my hillbilly hats, and I've been wearing them around with my, with my Bud Light patches that are older than me. Oh, Liz, I'm more offended by the gross taste of Bud than by the can, <laughs> right? <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> But in my mind, this is like all divide and conquer because people are 
so mad about about this, not realizing that there's a ton of other issues. Like, who's rich? It, that that no is one I know. Extraction <laughs> technique from the important yeah. stuff. Um, the same way. Okay, I don't want to blow through all my topic load too fast because I don't know what it all is. But the um, that whole twenty-one-year-old. Air Force Guard kid from Massachusetts and that whole document leak to his like Minecraft Discord server. They're watching you. Don't mess around. Like the government ain't playing. (laughs) No, it's not. But what coincidental timing to their release of the draft of the Restrict Act a couple weeks ago and then being having this thing being like, oh, and this is why you should let us do this. You, you, of course it's a um hey look at look at us look how buff and tough we are you know it's an exercise yeah who knows <laughs> you want to talk about it. conspiracy theories really yeah. quickly yesterday i bought hairy fabric <laughs> i don't know okay like from the and, company so I bought this peacock fabric yesterday, okay? I said the same thing. (laughs) And like I get I I ranted. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And the lady, you know, like I said, I need four yards because for some crazy reason I'm always like four yards is my base. She's like, oh well, the whole roll is five. I'm like, cool. That is true, Kilroy. They didn't even put Mulvaney on the production cans. It was just the specialty ones that they got oh, sent. God. But today, uh, um, everything is fake outrage. It is. Like, I oh. like to get all my facts together before I hate something. <laughs> right. Let's see here, Liz. There's so many things to get mad about. Why a rainbow, bro? <laughs> Hashtag green, bro. Oh, that's funny. Ah, uh, Kilray, what book did that kid read? How to completely uh, screw up your life in one easy step. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it a real... I don't play Minecraft, so was it a real story? Or is the story just that it was to two different Minecraft Discord servers? <laughs> oh, those servers are lit. Isaiah's in a couple. They're lit. I don't have enough time for that much stuff. Like, I think I have a Discord account, but I'm just like... I. I don't like reading. I don't have time to read that much stuff. Just can I watch a video about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the fabric, um, I got it in the car and I looked and it looked like it had little either cat or dog hairs on it. Oh, funny. Maybe. And, and you never know. Me, part of me was like, is this part of the fabric? Because that would be cool if it was like, like I love um, odd clothes. Like I love yeah. odd stuff. So I'm all here for, for, um, Abstract clothes. <laughs> but then I got in the car and I'm like, I'm like literally picking hair off. First thing I did, I got home, I threw that thing in the dryer. <laughs> Why didn't then you just I throw washed. it in the washer like you're supposed to? But the hairs, I didn't want to get the hairs all over my washer. That's how many okay. hairs there was. Like it was a mess. <laughs> but now I'm really wondering what happened because it, it was on a bolt and everything. What happened to the manufacturer? Like, where did it, and I'm so curious. <laughs> of uh, the journey of the fabric being made for it coming to my house. Who laid down and it had a furry pile in it. <laughs> it was the strangest thing. And like my filter, my um, the filter in my dryer was filled with hair. Gosh. <laughs> I got the fabric at uh, Walmart. Butterfly, because um, I'll go to Joanne's and I'll look at something, and there's a mega Walmart literally across the street from Joanne's, and they undercut everything. <laughs> They're mean, but it, but they get sales from people like me. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, most it looks like Kilroy and Liz are like, yep. Discord, another hot pile of poop. <laughs> Discord is awful. I got it at Walmart, and um, that's why I'm freaking out of why it was so hairy. Isaiah, like I, my son already knows this. I stalk my son's um, social media accounts. I'm all up in his business, as every parent should be. be. 
<laughs> Discord is a dumpster fire. And when grown adults say, oh, I'm on Discord, it makes me think of the dumpster fire that I see with my teenage son and his dysfunctional friend. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. But it's a good yeah. meeting place where they can say their, their, their crazy things and not take it out on people in public. I'm okay with it. Right. All right. Can I set in sleeves and stream at the same time? All right, everybody keep your fingers and toes crossed. <laughs> Are so you if, trying to screw it up? If this book's, it, book is talking about, like, the Hendrix look, is that 1960s? Yes. I'm trying to figure out the age of this book, and it's not necessarily marked... And it's not a um, reprint, so it doesn't have the original copyright year on it. But so somebody took out the le like it. It should it, be. The it does. <laughs> Every book I own has a year. Oh, hold on. Let me look. Maybe I didn't look. Up. New York. Yeah, like around that spot. And it sh it written should. Written by Sharon Rosenberg. Written by Sharon Rosenberg and Joan Wiener. I always like, like to have a last name like that, you have to have some gruff because it's boy named Sue for the rest of your life. It is literally boy named Sue. This edition oh, published by Evolve Books, Crown Division Publishers, arranged by Straighter Books, Library of Congress. No. <laughs> that is too funny. I cannot kill right. I would rather not be fertilizing weird worms underneath the jail because of a social medias this is the illustrated hassle-free make your own clothes book by sharon rosenberg and joan wiener <laughs> oh poor lady <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> But like I love at the end of the book because this entire book is out is about clothes and YouTube. This is a drawing, but they show um, a pair of duffs uh, at the end yep. of the book. Because <laughs> in the end, yeah, you'll go in how you the came 70s out. Seventies then, because I've got some books with. Oh, did I just rip my beast and thread? No, thank God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, what is it? I have a book with illustrations in that similar style for, and it was from the 70s oh my brother speaking of turning things off and then turning them back on my brother pe 535 decided decided to come and play again <laughs> oh that's right i know i saw that it's like we're not dead yet I was, I don't know. See, this is like the third time that this has happened to me where I'm like, okay, I give up on this piece of equipment. It's dead. You are dead to me. <laughs> Back of the fleet. <laughs> you know, does it connect wirelessly to the internet that sometimes it needs a software update? No, this is pre that. My okay, stalker spent a lot of money. My stalker spent a lot of money on this, but this is pre like the really fancy one. This is a um, PE 535. And again, they're probably not watching this stream, but if they're a stalker, they probably are. Um, thank you. Don't come by my house. Thank Wait, you. Don't stalk me. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this. This is not my problem. <laughs> well, somebody like it still scares me that somebody sent me this to my house in my real name. Yeah, that's creepy. Like, if you see the video, like, the, all my reactions were real because, it, like, I literally dragged the box in this room and was like, is this real? Is this, like, a YouTube thing where people get sent stuff? Like, I didn't ask for this. Right. It, it, did I get my first sponsorship or, or for a review video? <laughs> <laughs> but it makes you, and this was pre-doxing, so it makes me feel, it made me feel really vulnerable. Like, but my pops used to always say, like, dude, in the modern era, you can't hide. So my stalker machine decided to start working again, and I'm all excited. <laughs> oh, so I can start making um, millions of patches again. <laughs> I'm going to spend millions of hours pinning and unpinning because I'm trying to... This sleeve really wants to get set in the wrong way, and I'm trying to tell it no. 
Oh, and Butterfly, um, your idea of putting scotch tape on this ring worked. <laughs> it, I've got one. Uh, yeah, that's what the lady at the store said to do. A long time ago, I was whining about how this, this uh, my thing broke. And Butterfly said, hey, put some tape on it. And it worked. <laughs> it totally worked. So my machine is back. I'm all stoked. Okay, why is this so complicated right now? Maybe I'll sew in a zipper instead of setting sleeves. Is that, if that's an easier task. <laughs> Do you know, advertising works. Like, there are certain songs, because I still have yet to put an ad blocker on my YouTube. There are certain songs where I hear it on a commercial, and I'm like, you know what? I want to listen to that. And then I have it stuck in my head all day long. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> But the one thing I love about this book is that in the beginning, it basically says that if it, it says the same thing I say, if you don't have a sewing machine, remember, you are a sewing machine. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and I've that been is saying that since, it is very, I've been saying that since day one, like. That's like when Skits is uh, Skits was like, "Oh, I have, to, I have to go send away my my jacket button," and you and I were like, oh, "Blasphemy!" <laughs> I know we peer pressure. He got peer pressured into becoming a convert to the school of sewing. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have an eidetic memory, Butterfly. Like, I, um, and like when people give me suggestions, I try it right then and there, depending on certain things. Hence, I'm the crazy person who put Gojo on a sewing machine, but I still swear by Gojo. I still swear by it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to thank Alibaba for that. I think it was them who gave the suggestion about using the rubbing alcohol to get the goop, the tape goo off my hoops because it worked great now i have a set I, of matching hoops that is one thing i refuse to work with like there are um certain adhesives and certain because i used to use a lot of velcro because i was just flat out lazy i'll be real i'll be honest <laughs> and i would sew it in but then it started gunking up needles and like there's certain glue i just do not mess with anymore at all yeah even hand sewing, because I used to hand sew, um, uh, what's it called? Maybe it was because I was using uh, cheap Velcro. I don't know. But I'm so yeah. anti-Velcro because of the adhesive on the back. Well, don't they have, I mean, I thought back in the day they used to have Velcro that didn't have adhesive and you literally had to sew it in. That's what I, um, that's what I've been looking for. But most of this stuff, like in LA, it's all skinny jeans and Velcro with glue on the back. You know, oh, we don't have options here. <laughs> um, but if like Gojo works beautiful on sewing, on like really beat up, like if you want to strip a sewing machine, it does. But I took the star off of an irreplaceable sewing machine, <laughs> like a dentada. I didn't know what I was doing, but I learned my lesson. Oh, that's a good idea too, Kilroy. Ajax dish soap, dish soap. Gets old stink off that even Don won't. Well, that's good to know. That is because I'm going to be going by Rooster's Relics pretty soon. But like, I have an antiquing rule where I do not walk in there unless I have like cash in my pocket to spend. Like, because I'm not going to waste their time. Because every time I go there, I get a vintage, just, just something I would have never been able to find. But they're not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> This is my uh, my allowance. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, which is why I'm so mad. I scored a Touchtronic sewing machine yesterday. I have my table out because of my hairy fabric was more important than my sewing machine, but I'll grab it. But um, I have a machine. I believe it's from the 1960s or 1970s. But mine has to be second generation because it's a Touchtronic 2001. Hmm. Back when they thought we weren't all going to kill each other in the future. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Little did they know, we keep trying very hard. Humans are, we're just funny that way, how reciprocal we are. I 
love these stinking machines, these retro. Um, let me get an angle. I love these machines. Oh, there's my, I brought my VCR combo back in my life because I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find the plug in a second, but I love these stinking machines. I am a sucker for these machines. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a, like an old school, but uh, I'm going to plug it in in a second, but it makes the noise like the commercial. And oh. um, I I sadly found out last night that I can no longer play the commercial that I've put in over 20 videos. <laughs> so, but that's funny if they don't go through and copyright claim all of your stuff. Like, I'm so confused. So, or in are a they weird just way, fighting their time? In a weird way, they already have because, like, um, when I started, I. I took a song from an old TV, sh a British television show of a, um, a bohemian man. <laughs> I, I fell in love with a bunch of uh, British television shows and I took the, um, the theme song to one of the shows and that's when they started bombing my channel. Hmm. They started going through. So after, whenever I posted that, whoever is paying attention started paying attention to my channel. Because they did go back, and there's a bunch of videos now that are blocked if you don't live in America. Oh, funny. So, basically, if you live in America, you can watch it. If not, you can't because it's some stupid copyright thing. And, you know, a huge chunk of the people that watch my stuff are from India and Russia. Right. <clears throat> so oh, crazy. Vladimir... Vladimir Putin just um, got rid of the law where he can draft any man into the um, into the army. So I might lose oh, a few I thought, subscribers. <laughs> I thought that was already in place. <laughs> well, he got rid of the loophole. Okay. He got rid of... Oh, look how beautiful that thing is when it lights up. And let's see if you can hear it. Can you hear it? Yes. Ding, it ding. makes the noise. It <laughs> makes the 1970s noise. Boop. Boop. I love it. It's just like the commercial. These stupid machines are the ones where I act like a dummy in the store because I'm like, oh, I'll take that. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh, my gosh. These, I was see... watching. Oh, go ahead. No, it's no, no. I was going to go off. No biggie. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, I was watching So Rena's channel the other day, and I had never, I don't know if her machine must be from the 60s, that it's got a little disc that you put in to change the stitches. Oh, the cams. Some, oh, yeah, I, I, I never, I didn't, I was like, that's just so cute. <laughs> Cams literally were before machines were zigzag and stuff because a sewing machine literally just does what you tell it. So right. they started um, adding different cams to, um, I should know this because I literally had a video about cams. <laughs> <laughs> and not cam Basically, <laughs> it, it changes every function. Old school mechanics are so awesome. And shout out to, um, I think his name is Tim Huskins. He's the man who... Um, he would. He had this show in the seventies and eighties called "The Amazing Life of." Oh no, "The Secret Life of," and I completely ripped off one of his old shows, "The Secret Life of Sewing Machines," and he didn't copyright strike me, and he had the option to. So I really respect him. I really respect him. <laughs> he could have destroyed my channel. Oh man, yeah. Well, I mean, there it all the nuances between transformative work and what's really section two thirty and copyright is. That's true, Liz. There are different copyright laws. Killary said the touch tonic is seventies. It's so seventies <laughs> it almost hurts. Oh, it took me a second to read the whole thing. I. <laughs> I love these stupid. I love these stinking machines. I love. This is like the second or third I own, and uh, that's in this shape. I love these machines. These, these were the pre, um, like LED screens. So these are over ambitious, but they still work. Like this is a functioning sewing machine. Mm -hmm. The old LED screen ones. Once the screen's gone, you have a paperweight. 
unless you're going to spend money to replace the screen. Right. And they weren't designed to probably be replaced. <laughs> you you have to you have to uh, be a mechanical engineer <laughs> to replace those. Yep. No thanks. Oh, that's so funny. I love this thing. I this made my day yesterday because I do like like on the weekends, um, my life is so geared towards my son that like when he goes to his mom's house, I'm like, what am I gonna do with myself? <laughs> <laughs> have some me time. So I go thrifting. Right, because right, you don't have your anybody to tell you no. But you should wait till he's with you. I should have taken so that he can keep his eyes peeled for the things that you want. <laughs> oh, he counts sewing machines. He's gonna walk in here and be like, "You bought four new sewing machines." He counts. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows. <laughs> but the funny thing is, um, this same store where I bought this, these crazy people wanted four hundred dollars for a nineteen thirty singer. I, I'm gonna take a picture because I guarantee you it'll still be there when I go there next time. Excuse me. I think they like they go on eBay. eBay is deceptive sometimes, right? As far as as far as pricing, um, because that same machine that I saw for four hundred dollars, I bought for thirty in Ventura, California, <laughs> with a table, with a table, brand oh, new. Brilliant. 400 without the table that's yeah they don't understand the sewing machine market it's funny la is so funny it's so hit or miss like you'll see a, a that same machine for 15 bucks in one store and then four bills in the other that is too funny yeah I... that same place wanted a hundred for a kenmore table i walked out i was like that's crazy i went to my other thrift store where i bought that can more for $35. <laughs> Pricing is so funny. But I feel like it's like that everywhere. Like no matter where you live. That's true. It really depends on like what who's selling it and if they have any knowledge of what they're actually selling. Kilroy is a thousand percent correct because I used to sell um, comic books online until it just drove me mentally insane <laughs> but people do they do look at the uh, they don't look at the sold price ever because they don't want to have to admit that like it's not as much as you think it is that's why you have to take like i sell a lot of stuff so you have to take emotion out you have to <laughs> you have to be practical like okay and you have to realize who you're dealing with like where i live not everyone's rich right so i don't i don't like put prices so high where it's unobtainable or where people think I'm like trying to pay off my mortgage or something. <laughs> no, but you, you don't make sure to, depending on the amount of time and materials you had to spend to get it functional, like you can't True. discount that piece of it either. I mean, I won't even lie. Like there's a um, group I'm on Facebook. They're more West side, Los Angeles. They pay more money. And so I will jump in that group with a crazy price, but they'll pay it, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> There's another group where it's me and a bunch of grandmas, and I know they would never pay that price, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, I didn't even pay that price when that machine was new. <laughs> <laughs> you have to find a fanatic selling anything, because if not, um, you know, they're, someone's just going to look it up and be like, it's not worth that much, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I learned that with cars. The hard way i used to um like i used to resell cars but then people started finding out the real value of their cars <laughs> <laughs> and i could no longer wheel and deal anymore right yeah because the depreciation is so crazy high on an auto oh even on um it, unless it's like a corvette stingray or something that's priceless like the second you put your butt in the seat, it's depreciated. <laughs> right. <laughs> you looked at the car. It's already yeah, yeah. Worth half of what it was worth before. Okay. 
Well, fortunately, setting in that zipper was way easier than trying to set those sleeves in. Except now we're going to have to go back to fiddling sleeve heads. <laughs> because I kind of want to wear this, even uh -huh. though I still have to do the buttons and buttonholes. We'll get there. Oh, man, I should get this um, fan going, huh? And oh, yeah, like that. For anyone who's watching this, I will be doing this exact same thing tomorrow. So we all have to act shocked when I pull out another fan. I'm addicted to Amazon. <laughs> they give me mega deals because they know I'm a sucker. And yes, Kilroy, I have my X-Acto knife literally within reach. <laughs> But having fans in this room is important because I have a ton of computers in here. Yeah, you got to keep them babies and, cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, I learned that. Like, especially Apple products, they will tell you, I'm fickle. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. They warn <Nope>. you. <laughs> Oops. That sounded like the remote. Didn't need that remote anyway. <laughs> Unboxing. I got the Roku app on my on my phone. Who needs a, a clicker? Ooh, how fancy pants! It comes with a remote. Another thing to lose. <laughs> wow, I'm really oh, okay. All right. I love that. We should open up a new shop for you. Call it OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> OnlyFans hey. fans. <laughs> hey, these kids. I was thinking about reading my hassle-free clothes book with my shirt off because I've been threatening with a biology book but nobody wants to um nobody wants my freshman no one wants to hear my freshman year biology book like nobody cares when I say I'm talking about college freshman year <laughs> yeah it's a little outdated now I mean does it never mind oh <laughs> hey, it's only 23 it's only 23 years ago that book is only from 23 years ago. Right, cell biology didn't change that much. Oh, okay. <laughs> on my butt. <laughs> oh, wow. How's it going, Skids? How's it going? Do you know, like, I say this all the time, but we are one of the most wasteful species on planet Earth. Like, we could have reduced the plastic on all of this for this fan. Like, the amount of waste for that has come with this fan is unreal. Yeah, that is a lot. Of, that's a lot of plastic. Times two. And I have to save to the box. Two of them. <laughs> I know I'm such a. Well, Isaiah, like last year, he kept on taking mine, so I was like, "No, nah, this year." And he has a fan in his room too. He has like an actual fan, a ceiling fan. Right. But sometimes they get a weird, like they sound off kilter, and it keeps you awake instead of puts you to sleep. True. Nude Bible reading, huh? Is that what everyone's voting for? I'm not okay. Let's have a let's have a um a powwow since uh, since the family's here, okay? I grew up going to church every Sunday. Every Sunday. From the time as far as I can remember until I got confirmed in the Catholic Church and, and I'll never forget they were like, Oh, you don't have to go to church. That first Sunday I stopped going. <laughs> <laughs> So when it comes to the Bible, I've read it a few times. And in the Catholic Church, um, they go by a formula. So you, they literally go through the Bible. And if you go there, um, you know, year after year, you're literally going through the Old Testament. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, the over Jews do the over. same thing. They go through the Torah every year. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> oh, trauma. Oh, that is trauma. Your pedestal fan came in multiple plastic bags. What I was thinking, WTF, right? Evolution in the nude. That would be, you know, actually, maybe we should go through before, like, archive.org gets shut down. And because I have, like, the American dress cutters manual, go through old Victorian and Edwardian sewing manuals. Oof. I thought it didn't have the other end of the base. This thing is just well oh, no. packed. <laughs> Whichever indentured human, you know, whatever indentured human put this in the box, I thank you. 
you did a good job. No, I feel bad, like, because in the Western world, like, I order a lot of stuff from Amazon, and I know it's coming from some sketchy places where people are getting treated horribly. Yeah. We need to start building stuff here again. I agree. And, like, if people knew, or just, like, even in Mexico, I'm old, okay? I order a lot of um, DVDs. They all come from Mexico. <laughs> or go to Walmart. Any CD that you buy will say made in Mexico on it, you know? We just don't make things in America anymore. No, we don't, except for drug addicts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, you're, you're, I'm you're killing me. Today. That is hilarious because it's true. Right, like Homer says, it's only funny because it's true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I live in the suburbs. We have literally a roaming gang of kids that walk around um, breaking in people's cars. <laughs> literally. And they're all uh, suburban children. Like, <laughs> right, because they got nothing better to do and they got all the credit cards. They can have every material thing they want, but they don't know. Oh, how don't to let use me catch them. I have bear mace. I have bear mace. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, that's funny, too, how some of the car makers are getting sued because their cars are now too easy to break in. Like, who's... I don't... That one's funny. Well, Kia, they messed up because, like, someone on TikTok showed how to break into one, and it literally became a challenge. Right. And it's called the Pop Door Challenge or something. And the only reason I know this is because of Twitter... But, like, people will steal a Kia, crash it into a building, and post it. Oh, my God. <laughs> These needs, kids, we man. I'm... Government, we don't need the Restrict Act. Kids are dumb enough. We don't need more third-party <laughs> surveillance. The kids will do it for you. Please, stop. <laughs> if we haven't complained about the Restrict Act to your government officials, please do it, because this is a hot <laughs> shit of garbage, and... Probably gonna get myself on a list because of the number of times I complain about it. And one last point about it for today, hopefully. I um there's a channel, Future Conflicts, that's current military, ex-military, I don't know, a whole bunch of people in the biz. And they had a really great breakdown of the Restrict Act and the Airman debacle. It's worth a listen to if you got two and a half hours to not want to throw up in your mouth every two minutes. <laughs> Sorry, that was not a good selling point. <laughs> oh. Okay. I can't remember what coach that was, but there was this one legendary press conference where he was like, I threw up in my mouth a couple times. I manned up and I kept going. That stuck with me forever. <laughs> it just stuck with me. Because <laughs> that's gross on all kinds of different scales. But he, but when you see him, like he was per perfectly presented. But he admitted he was a mess before the game, you know. <laughs> all right, let's plug her in. Oh, plug is on the other side. Okay, let's see here. I'm Okay, Kilroy. Oh no, he fucked his fan up before he even got to use it. That would not surprise me. A skits. Anyone who quotes Homer Simpson is okay in my book. Oh, thank you. One point five volts. Y'all have better provided those. Oh, they're triple A's. Oh my gosh, these European measurements drive me insane. Sorry. <laughs> Certain Kia cars don't have immobilizers in them, so you can. Literally put a screwdriver in the ignition and start up the cart. Well, good to know yeah. if I'm ever <laughs> in a tough position. That's why Actually, uh, I used to it's... have a Kia, but oh, a Kia Sophia, it was forest green and I think it was like a 96. And then it got totaled I mean... in a snowstorm in April. Oh, that's awful. I'm weirdly addicted to watching like the worst videos on Twitter. I don't even know why, but those Kia pop door videos are awful. I would never own a Kia now because I know how easily someone could steal my car. Right, yeah. 
Nope, my shipping bolt is in right now. You <laughs> low jack? I got a low jack. It's called a nine. <laughs> 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 it's too impossible to steal without the key. Oh, <laughs> you can't hijack it because I've got the low jack. <laughs> That's like the club. Um, I own a couple of those, but then I saw somebody um, physically show me how they can get into a club in three seconds. Oh, God. For, anyone, for anyone who doesn't remember, the club was a lock that goes in your steering wheel. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do they still make those? I'm sure because of um, Chinese manufacturers will back track and make anything. So I'm sure if you looked it up on Amazon and ordered it, you'd probably get one. Awesome. <laughs> oh, Kilroy. Um, I know you probably know then. Um, I'm addicted to washing Russian dash cams. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Oh, they shoot at each other. Some guy will jump out and be like, you have a problem like with just some hand cannon. <laughs> addicted. I am addicted to watching those. It's worse than L.A. I thought L.A. was bad. <laughs> yeah, no, but you also might need to be prepared to shoot against huge bear in food. So, you know, after the vodka, we got the bear wrestling. Oh, Skids, I'm loving the new chair. It's weird having so much support on my duff. It's weird. <laughs> like, my, you don't realize how bad the other chair was until you get a new one. Oh, God, you did get a new chair. Oh, yeah. It's all shiny, too. There, the, I, I missed it. It's denim colored, so I didn't realize it wasn't covered in denim. <laughs> I had my old chair was like a stereotypical gamer chair. And like yeah. I said in my videos, three years later, I walked in. I was like, I need an old man chair because y'all are doing too much with these gamer chairs. <laughs> I'm not ready to look. Yes. Well, I've got a chair, but Loki sits on it. <laughs> Instant karma videos are the shyest. I watch those as well. Like the one thing that's ruined me though is now there's a bunch of videos of kids fighting their teachers and it really makes me like dislike the youth like yeah i, I could never be a, a teacher i'd be in prison i'll fight back i would <laughs> especially because i'm i'm like i'm five nine so i would be the same size as as, as some of these children you know mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're my size i consider you a man <laughs> <laughs> As far as, you know, you know, man on man, you know, if a little boy, if he's like six feet and he gets in my face, like, like we're fighting. <laughs> yeah. It, everything's going downhill oh. these days. It scares me because this is one of the reasons I don't have my son, my son's homeschooled because I, I sit at home and watch or I'm in the office and I'm like, oh, I should be working and I'm on Twitter watching people fight each other. <laughs> It's awful. It's ass it's a train wreck. Like a yeah. <sighs> One among many right now. <laughs> okay. There's nothing wrong with get off my lawn <laughs> <laughs> at all, Kilroy. Nothing. And if you guys ever watch my videos and you notice a flashing light in front of my house, I have a flashing light that deters cats from peeing on my lawn. I want everything off my lawn. <laughs> and it works because the cats do, do not go on my lawn anymore oh that's good they've learned to enjoy the facilities and use their facilities somewhere else <laughs> my backyard yeah, has become like a, a cat respite it's weird <laughs> well they know that you're a food handler and, and Odin's <laughs> like hey I got this one suckered I get two squares I get a square a day and <laughs> Two squares. Two. Two I feed Odin in the morning and in the evening because I remember. <laughs> so she, yeah, she's got you pegged. She's like, oh, I got this new sucker on the block. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, sometimes, like, I don't know if it's Odin's brothers or sisters or friends, but like, because Odin is all black. But then there's another cat that's um, black and white in one direction. Then there's another cat that's black and white in the other direction. Oh, so I, I'm like, are you guys family? Did you guys, are you guys like, litters are just weird. Like, you, know, like, you need to 
put her in a trap and get her so she's not having any more little kittens. <laughs> Oh, I'm so scared of that. I am so... What am I going to do? Like, I don't know how to birth kittens. I, I have to call somebody. Oh. The, well, the kid, they, usually they just do it themselves. They just need a safe <clears throat> place. And she should take care of it. But then she needs the big snip of doodles <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, Butterfly. It's something that you can order off of Amazon here. I'll go get it. It'll take two seconds. Oh. Oh, the flashing light thing. Okay. That's like, ooh. Oh, the revenge of the cats. So, um, oh, there's my, my ring. <laughs> All right, warning, warning flashing lights. But this thing, um, it has a sensor on it. And once you go around it, it flashes. I'm funny. And it deters the cats. They ruin my lawn. They ruin my front lawn. And when I got this thing, my grass is green months later because okay. you know cats are very acidic with certain things and <laughs> this thing works i got this on amazon um it's literally just a deterrent it's just um, a cat deterrent and it works it's meant for bigger animals because like um fun fact if you flash a light like if you ever are getting attacked by a large cat um <laughs> if you flash a flashlight in its eyes it will deter it because it can't see Okay. It will literally blind the cat. And so that's what this, this does is it tells the cat, get out of here. <laughs> that's good to know because I do live where there's mountain lions and cougars. And they've there's been like a wolverine hanging around in the state again. Yikes. But I think that's more up north. And in no way am I endorsing running up on cougars. I'm just saying <laughs> yeah, in a survival just... <laughs> situation. <laughs> oh, right. I've been so out of it. We didn't do our... – you know, legal, medical, financial, education, or educational sometimes, but not by, that's only on accident. Don't take advice. We're here to laugh at ourselves and others and mostly ourselves Absolutely. and try to get some sewing done while we're at it. <laughs> we are people, we are people on the internet who do not take ourselves ser too serious. Definitely not. <laughs> sewing I take seriously, which is why I need to human up and get back to trying to set these sleeves because <laughs> they're not going to set themselves. <laughs> oh my gosh, Butterfly, it saved my lawn. It saved my lawn. That stupid little thing, I have it in my cactus planner and it's just one thing, it overlooks the whole front, it's a standard California front lawn, it's fairly big, but it it saved my lawn. It, <laughs> it really has. <laughs> because now they don't pee on my grass and it, it was bad. It was bad. I took pictures. It was so bad. <laughs> oh, I just wish I could keep the deer out of my garden, but I don't have a fence tall enough. And they're like, yeah, we, we can jump this. Okay. They do know how to set in sleeves. I can make this happen. Let's deer heart are easily fixed. deterred. <laughs> my inner beavis and butthead had to make this joke. Godless was getting so much pussy he had to chase it away. <laughs> I miss those days. I'm just an old man who screams, get off my lawn now. <laughs> Which is a, it's really ironic because my whole life I've been a dog person and I laugh at my, like, you never know about life. I was total anti-cat, and now if anything mess with my cat, I'll, I'm going to come after you. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you mess with Odin, I'm, I'm going to come after you. <laughs> yeah, but that thing works. It works so well. Yeah, maybe I could try that for the deer. I don't know how well that works, but something. Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> Thank you, Skids. I have uh, this shirt. This shirt definitely gets attention when I wear it in public. <laughs> definitely. No, when soda used to be good again. <laughs> I was watching this one. Odin's well. Odin is actually enjoying the weather. And Odin, like, um, in my backyard... Um, Along all the arbors, there's concrete along the entire sides. Odin lays on the concrete like a snake. Odin is sunning herself. 
<laughs> I love when they roll around on like the cement and take their little dirt baths. Oh, it's so I why cats are so elegant though. Like I oh, I've yeah. had nothing but dogs. Dogs will walk into a glass door. Like dogs are kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not my and kitty. I, <laughs> but cats are are weirdly elegant. They are, even when they're old I and crotchety. True, true. <laughs> I was recently watching a video um, where somebody was talking about Coca Cola, and they were like, "Yeah, the original." Coca-Cola had real rah 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 in it, and it made me laugh out loud so hard. Because apparently, um, where this person's from, they call it rah 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 rah. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of describes what it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I laughed so hard. And for anyone's wondering, I do not have the heart for major drugs anymore. I'm retired. I just wear the t-shirts, and that cool. I don't do anything. I am a, a t I'm California sober. <laughs> I know nothing I love about that saying. substances. What's that? <laughs> I know nothing about illegal substances. At all. At all. <laughs> no. Nothing. <laughs> Clean as a no, whistle. No, but I, I pride myself because, like, I haven't had a drink in a long, long time. Yeah. Long time. And it's because I couldn't hang. I was a real-life cowboy, and I coun't hang. <laughs> It's good to know where your limits are and how to be a good human. The older you get, like the higher risk you are for a heart attack. That's true too. <laughs> or it's falling and breaking something. And I've been on asthma. I, I've been on asthma drugs my entire life. Like I, if I don't have an enlarged heart, I'm sure it's somewhere near there. So like, I don't chance it. I do not chance it. <laughs> <laughs> that that is funny. Killer, right? Yes, let's let's bring Coke back to its original flavor. <laughs> original ingredients, um, please. Probably sell more. I as, as someone who like obsessively drinks Pepsi. <laughs> I know that I I am Team Pepsi. <laughs> You'd have to and it would have to be the original flavor to get me to drink a Coke. <laughs> did you ever um drink did you have, have you ever heard of cactus cooler? No, I grew up in New York. I'm addicted to a drink called Cactus Cooler. If you ever see it, it is um, a, like a soda version of a kitty drink. It's like okay. orange soda. Like it's it's hard to explain. <laughs> so it's like Mexican Fanta, but a Coke. I don't know if it's a Coke or Pepsi product. It's been around since I was a little kid, but it's okay. like an American version of it. It's like citrus and orange combined. It's real. It's like it's like the you know. And when I say orange, you know, in America we have grape <laughs> flavor and grapes, and there's a difference. <laughs> and we have difference. we have orange flavor and oranges, and there's a big difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's high. It's high fructose corn syrup. Really, is what the difference is. But <laughs> high fructose orange syrup. <laughs> Oh, yep. Is that going to be the new trending hashtag on Twitter tomorrow skits? <laughs> this shirt always gets a reaction. Even more like um, when I wear crazy stuff around my town, people are like, oh, that's the bright, that cowboy. He wears black every day. And then one day he shows up in a pink coat. Don't he? They're not even shocked by me anymore. <laughs> they're just like, oh, he's got clothes on. Great. <laughs> Yeah, people are <laughs> people are way too used to me too. Cause like I walk into certain places all like look at me, I'm bright as hell. And they're like, We know you. We know you, sir. We know who you are. We expect this. We expect all of it. Right. But this shirt gets a reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what's really funny? I've heard quite a few people say that skits. Actually, quite a few people. And it's to the point now where like people won't even buy um pot from a dealer because sometimes it's laced with that stuff that Ooh. shall not be named <laughs> yeah the the fenny everything is in the fenny and i've even heard that you can like ask you're like oh this is supposed to be my lorazepam or my the corner store lorazepam and there people are asking to see the original like prescription bottles but they're printing it and making fake prescription labels 
and still cutting it with Venny. Oh, wow. Which I don't understand why. From like, a, um, like, unless you're trying to outright just off people, like, from a dealer standpoint, don't you want people to come back? Just in a, you know, a, a question. I, I, it is true, except that I think the pr issue is that the big dealer is China and they don't really care. They're still mad at That's us crazy. for the opium wars and they're like, whatever. Do you know, I think about that all the time. Like England is lucky that China doesn't do to them what they did to China. Yeah. Some sewing machines. I may be joining you guys. <laughs> I uh, I have a problem, butterfly. I have a problem. <laughs> I have a major problem. <laughs> well, get have a good workout, butterfly. Hopefully, they're not <laughs> ones where you need a dolly. <laughs> that reminds me. I've been weirdly like curling uh, my 1906 singer, and it, it's starting to show right here. I've been weirdly just doing this with it. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well lift what you have around. That's why. Oh, I. I was so irritated that I'm like, I'm gonna move furniture and make a mess in two different rooms, and then stream and leave a giant mess in two different rooms to deal with <laughs> in a few hours. I agree oh, with Kilroy. The fact that that they're forging prescription labels makes me want to cry as someone who gets prescription drugs. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's why you, you need to go to the pharmacist for your stuff and not the, the corner store guy. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I know. And they're just like bringing it up through Mexico in like 50 gallon drums. Which makes me laugh because anyone who's ever crossed over, at least on the California side, they check everybody. That's why it's easier just to walk over because they check every car. Like, that's why when people do smuggle stuff into America, I'm like, you must have really tried. Because they like they have x-ray machines. And I'm only speaking for the California side because I crossed over in Texas and that was a joke compared to like. California, they have an army of Border Patrol there. In Texas, it's a guy with a computer scanning your ID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good to no, no, and no. in Arizona, too. Arizona as well scared me. Like, I'm like, this is your border? Like, this is your protection? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh. so then what would, seeing that, what do you think about having a border wall? We already have one. The problem is um, a lot of it is like geographically speaking, um, where there isn't a wall, we have it's like unpenetrable desert and the border patrols there. I think a lot <laughs> of like they launch it over the border. OK, <laughs> so Kilroy's not playing. Kilroy is not playing. When I found the when I found like um, an article about the cocaine catapult, I became obsessed. Do you know they're building real trebuchets and launching drugs over the border? There was a border agent who literally was like smoking a cigarette. He looked up and he was like, "Is that a bale flying over my head?" Like, <laughs> it's a good thing he didn't get oh, I'm out. Upset. <laughs> Oh, I'm obsessed with that. I am obsessed with that. Or like when they dig tunnels, I, I'm obsessed with that too. Like that's some real life human ingenuity where you can dig a tunnel that you can drive a car through under a border. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. You regular <laughs> Liz is yelling vengefully today and people with Yikes. pill presses. Yep. Counterfeiting actual pain pills with that stuff. It is crazy. It really is. But that's a whole other, I mean, I don't know. The whole opioid issue is such a double-edged sword because, like, there is acute pain where you need something, but then how easy it is to become dependent. And then if you've already got some pre-existing anxiety or depression, you're like, oh, and this makes me feel good and not just... Okay, I was, I was since you're um, the resident doctor here in the House no, of Phoenix... But <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, Go ahead. <laughs> where where is that line? Because there's somebody that I um, used to stream with, 
who lives off of opiates and I consider them a, um, an age junkie, but they mm -hmm. claim they have pain. Where, where is that line? Because they show classic signs of drug abuse. Uh huh. Yeah. And so where, but maybe I'm just a judgy person and maybe they are supposed to take that and they just mentally can't handle taking opiates every day. Where is that line? I, it, I think it's called, I, okay, I think it's easier to go, folks who legitimately should have short-term prescriptions, you have mm -hmm. surgery. Folks who might legitimately have long-term prescriptions, you're going through hospice care because of cancer. Everybody else who's on it for chronic use... Why aren't they doing physical, like, have they exhausted physical therapy or acupuncture or massage or adjustments or, you know, there are so many other modalities, behavioral health. Are they working with a therapist? I, I, I don't like it for chronic pain. I, I don't think it's a good choice. Do you think it's money, though? Because, like, yes, I'll because tell you. Yes, doesn't want to pay for the other modalities. Yes, there's a huge issue with money. And Big I Pharma, a, they're like, oh, we, you pay us because you buy our sh shit. So my, I have, everybody has that one rich uncle. And if you don't, you're, you're better off. I have that <laughs> one, like actual really rich uncle in my family. Okay. And he basically, because he has just top tier insurance and money, my cousin has been in going to methadone clinics as long as my son has been alive. My son's 13. Yeah, then he's not just... ever. Yeah, no, he's exactly. never. No, it's gonna. No, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yep. And they get mad at me because I'm rude. I'm like, dude, you're you're, you're killing yourself, and you're like, if he stopped taking it, he would lose a hundred pounds. You know, mm -hmm. like he's so puffed up, he's so sucked up from taking it. Like, um, but they keep on giving it to him because he has top tier insurance because he's rich, and so because he's sponsored by daddy, he's been mm -hmm. on that stuff for. Ever. And it's just like, where's that line of like, you're still on yeah. the drug basically, you know? Exactly. Because methadone is just a replacement. It's not a, to really help you get off. And I'm not like um, for or against like, and I'm no one to judge anyone, but there are certain behaviors where I'm like, dude, you need to take a step back, <laughs> take, drink some water. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> eat some. Uh, did you eat a vegetable today? Did you go for a walk? Did you shower? Can we just start with some of the basics? And I say we'll that to my it. son. I say that to Isaiah, and he hates it when I say that. I'm like, did you drink water today? He's like, I don't want to talk about it. Did you eat a vegetable? Fruits? We have bananas, oranges. We have nuts, okay. berries, all kinds of things in my house. <laughs> right. Another good question is, did you poop today? <laughs> the Romans... <laughs> The Romans were very famous. Uh, a very famous saying is eat well, shit well, and never go to the doctors. Yep. <laughs> That's a very famous Roman saying. <laughs> now I just have weekend dance if you want to stuck in my head. And it's been weeks. Let's be real. It's been weeks. <laughs> I've got my new accent stuck in my head, but there's no words. So there's nothing really to share. <laughs> Oh man, I think I listened to '80s music because it was much. It was much more like happy, you know, like '70s and '80s, and even early '90s. It was much more. It was less depressed. Yeah. Well, I mean, The Cure, Robert Smith. The, you, you mean there? I there was depressed music in the '80s. Bauhaus, Jane's Addiction. True. True. I I listened to because I listened to that stuff. I listened to the poppy stuff because I listened to like when I was a kid. I was I listened to what my siblings did. So it was a lot of rap and Metallica. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> and I was the youngest, so I didn't have options until everyone moved out. Oh, right. thank you, Kilroy. You have switched the the station in my head. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, I love that stupid song. It is such a great tune. 
it's that era though i'm i'm telling you that's why i am so mad but you know what though um in my video i have a like a lot of those viva vivo songs that i downloaded they let me play them on youtube so i think i'm gonna have to go back to my 80s uh music again i am so mad at youtube right now youtube we are this close to breaking up i hope you know that youtube i'm thinking about giving you a second chance but i'm over your your shit <laughs> i'm getting ready to diversify platforms again you got me <laughs> we're about to become poly youtube and you know i'm not the most poly person but we're about to add some <laughs> add some streaming services to this relationship because it is I not have an working open relationship street with my streaming services <laughs> i'm not I might go back. I might go back to Odyssey and I'm going to sign up to all the streams. I'm just going to start streaming on everything. I right, might go back to Odyssey. Odyssey bit shoot, um, <laughs> Rumble, Locals, you can stream on there too. Locals is funny though. You have to have enough people or else they cut you off at like 30 minutes, like four, five times a month. I'm like, well, you are kind of funny, but <laughs> they're really, a, a, wow, words an attempt at an alternative to Patreon because Patreon's also kind of sketchy with what they allow and don't allow. I've wondered about that too, because like um, I watch a lot of YouTubers who make a ton of money off of YouTube and they act like they can do anything on Patreon. Is that true? <laughs> no. Well, I guess it depends on what, because they kicked off Sydney Watson. They, I, they kicked off a whole bunch of more normal people and leave. Mm -hmm. Oh, folks like Jeremy March or whatever their name is. who are basically trying to groom kids and have private conversations with underage kids via Patreon, even though they're not even supposed to be on the platform. So I don't know. They've got some issues with virtue signaling and, allowing Yikes. on their platform so i i can't do that one let me see if i can <laughs> re-download odyssey um we are he is becoming a free agent killer right youtube is and, and you know what people want to watch my crummy videos like right now they're not showing my views again and i'm a numbers guy like i know i don't look like it but i'm really into math and they're I messing like the with analytics. The <laughs> <laughs> and they're messing with my math. <laughs> I know how many viewers and subscribers I'm supposed to have. You're lying to me. <laughs> well, the YouTube studio is a separate entity, so like it'll say you have 700 views. And I go on YouTube and it's like 225. Oh, that's funny. It drives me crazy. And 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 YouTube studio is not changing. So it'll say like, oh, you've reached your quota of a thousand views. And then I'll look and it'll say, I only have 200 on my thing. It's really? YouTube is, oh, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> well, I do notice like that usually takes a couple of days for my, like this streams views are not going to show up or my watch time until like Tuesday or Wednesday. This, and I, and I say this all the time. <gasps> hey! Hey! Alibaba! Oh my gosh! Hey, okay, hey. since you're here, and I'm pretty sure it was you. <laughs> my hula hoop doesn't have group tape goo in it because of the magics of isopropyl alcohol. Yay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it it doesn't even have any sticky residue. Oh, I thank you so much. You made my act creation class yesterday. I'd say so much better, but I still don't have a full act. And when your teacher auditioned for Cirque du Soleil and says you need to work on stuff, you're like, all right, I'm good, but not that good yet. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, and to answer you, Liz, um, Odyssey is just another streaming site. Um, a long time ago, a YouTuber that I would obsessively watch, she got kicked off of YouTube for being too controversial. So I followed her to Odyssey. And quite honestly... All I ever did was follow her and another person that already had a YouTube account. So I really didn't get too into it. But like, it's different, but it's a streaming service. I liked it. I got rid of it because they came back on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, because isn't there... Oh, Bit, is BitChute just a... Can you stream on BitChute or is it just a video hosting platform? That's another one I've heard I of. 
I don't know. I'm going to start re- reaching out, though. I, I really am because I'm over all of this, like, weird censorship or, like, I'm just over it. I'm And, and you know what? I'm not even, like, um, doing anything controversial. I'm showing um, commercial ads from 40 years ago, uh, you know, and I'm sewing and showing, like, $15 sewing machines that I bought, you know? Yeah. Oh, Ollie Bob, now that you're here, I you bought a Touchtronic. I'm showing this off again. I am obsessed with this machine. <laughs> this <laughs> is the Touchtronic 2001. I It makes the beeps and everything. I'm so stoked. I am so stoked to have this machine. <laughs> boop, boop, bleep. And the funny thing is, like, um, with these older singers, the people really don't know what they have because they're kind of middle of the road. Um, they wanted 34 bucks for this and they wanted $75 for a modern day singer. That's well, they had those prices or, reversed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and they had and the funny thing is, like sometimes I feel like I'm figured out though, because there's certain stores like they put the price up because I'm I'm the only one buying these sewing machines, you know. So they're pricing themselves out of my price range. Like, I'm not going to spend 300 bucks for something I know I can pay $40 for, you know? Yeah. And then who is going to buy it anyway? Like, if they know you're the <laughs> most likely customer, why save it for somebody to tear apart and destroy as a table or whatever? Oh, it drives me crazy. <laughs> but I stopped, I stopped getting offended be, but because I live in L.A., so... Like, I live in the land. I'm going to get electrocuted one day. I live in the <laughs> land of, um, again, I should say, I'm going to get electrocuted again, of thrift stores. So I'm kind of spoiled because if somebody messes up, I can just go somewhere else, you know? But if I lived in, like, Iowa, I'm sure I wouldn't have these many options. Well, you never know. <laughs> they had a lot of sewing machines there. So Kilroy, Kilroy asked, hold on, let's... I love that sound. 1970s. Oh, ooh, I love that sound. Ooh. <laughs> it's almost 12 o'clock. It sounds just like the commercial. I am such a geek. And you know what, YouTube, I am so mad at you. We are breaking up. We are. Because I'm obsessed with these commercials that I can no longer play. <laughs> <laughs> You're hurting my feelings, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Did it, did it at least tell you where the claim came from? No. Okay. Thank you for asking, Phoenix. YouTube has become so lazy. And I hope you're, I hope you're watching YouTube. Because back in the day, you would take the segment that was illegal and be like, hey, you can't play the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> right. They would tell you it hurts. <laughs> you can't play this or that. You know what I'm saying? They, mm-hmm. They're so lazy. They blocked my whole video because they would say, oh, it's partially blocked. And every time I'd upload it, they'd say this video is fully blocked. They have become so lazy. Like they used to tell you what the problem is. Now they just completely exit out and they say, you can put this up, but you'll get a copyright strike. And we'll, and you're, just, you're like basically can't post for 30 days or you can take it down. Oh, that that was is... my option. <laughs> Yeah, this is getting ridiculous. And it's probably not even a person. It's, it's an AI scrubbing your videos for whatever reason yeah. that has no That's... idea. And it happened before. Like, there's one YouTuber where I made the mistake um, of downloading his commercials. He does not play. He will copyright strike you within 10 seconds. Well, and so I learned. Own, if he didn't make the video, the commercial, he doesn't, he doesn't have a copyright leg to stand on. And these are 1950s singer commercials. I'm so mad. And like 1960s, like they're vintage too. And part of me is like, wait a minute, you don't own this, but this particular no. person owns the rights to these. I got a co- my first real copyright strike was from this person. That doesn't, that is somebody being a, a first hole. <laughs> So whenever I see, um, like, his suggestions will come up, and I'm like, no, I do not like this channel. <laughs> right. Liz, they do. But it doesn't help, like, that the copyright, and it, I know for a, a fact that the community guideline strikes are 
that department of YouTube is outsourced out of the country to folks whose English, where English is not their native language. So humor and satire and different things don't translate. So you're getting strikes for stuff that you're like, that does not make sense. I want to know who owns a Midas commercial that's my age. Because I thought after a certain year, like you couldn't copyright things. So I like I have a 1950s singer commercial that's uncopyrighted because it's so old. Like there's no copyright on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, who owns these things? It's just my channel got bombed. Like like something happened where they're they're going through my stuff. And I knew this day would come because I do rip <laughs> stuff off the Internet. But like, come on, I'm old school. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not like, uh, I just want to play Faith No More on my videos. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Mike Patton. Leave me alone. I just want, you know, like, it's, I'm not even that complicated. I like simple things. I'm a human of simple tastes. <laughs> I will say, though, um, one time on a video, I played the ending of a Faith No More video. And this is the epic part where he's shooting lightnings out of his hands. He's wearing a street version where street vision where like it's 1991 because it was. And YouTube, um, they gave me a copyright strike and they were like, you need to justify why you um have this in your video and i'm not kidding you phoenix i wrote i just want to rock out man please don't destroy my channel and they accepted it and they oh, took the st so strike away <laughs> that is so what double stand that that is too much I, crazy i told the truth i just want to rock out i just want to rock yeah. out that's it like i'm not here to to hurt anybody oh that's yes that's probably yeah. what it is alibaba Getty does own too much, uh, does own like everything. Liz likes Facebook, or what about Facebook? Copyright laws are so much more specific than YouTube's. Yes. I, well, I don't know, but I'm going to have to take your word for it. Alibaba Singer still has the logo copyright. This is how they do it. Interesting. Very. Killer, right? I bet either Disney or General Election, uh, Gen General Election. <laughs> General Electric own they most own of the everything. old ads. True. Trademark, yeah. I just, I got bowled over. And you know what? I'm so glad my son wasn't here because I said some new stuff that he would have learned some, he would have learned some new curse words <laughs> last night. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> I was so mad. I was blindingly mad. Like, oh, I was so mad because like I started my, my original upload at um, at eleven fifty something. Okay, it did not until it basically it took me four hours to take all the commercials off between all the uploading and everything. So at four in the morning, I was like, "I'm going to bed." <laughs> I was done. I was so mad. Right. Oh. That is so damn funny. right, Kilroy. I have a license to rock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Oh. I just want to oh, cut up and like listen to 80s music and I, I'm weird. I'm into um, death metal, rap, electronica, country music. Like <laughs> I like everything, you know? All good choices. <laughs> Why am I sewing with my symbol on? All right, never mind. <laughs> it's one of those days today. It's been one of those weeks. This is too effed up. Like, and that's another thing. A lot of the, like, I use instrumentals from a rapper called named DJ Quick, okay? I know for a fact that he copyright strikes people. He hasn't copyright striked me at all. He doesn't care because he makes his money, you know? Like, YouTube is so weird. It is, I don't get it. And Kilroy, Kilroy said earlier about how you need a lawyer to interpret um, their terms of services. It's real. Like, yeah. I don't think I'd be, like, it's written in lawyerese. It is. And the worst part is when you watch LawTube and even the lawyers are like, I don't get this. This does not make sense. Like, <laughs> there's a problem. Yeah. Like, what in the what is this? And that's, that's it. That's they got me. And I knew this day would come. I knew this day would come because I do rip a lot of stuff off the Internet. <laughs> 
Oh, oh my God. Alibaba, for instance, I can't publish my own manual, but I can publish it through ISMACS that has expressed permission given for the publishing of Singer logoed products. That's so bizarre. Country D G metal. <laughs> Death metal. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense, Liz. I was like, well, you've made up a new style that I do not know about. <laughs> Did I, did I lose a pin in here? There's no, did I, what just happened? There's been misadventures at this house of circus today. Where's this pin? Did I, did I just sew a pin through the seam? Where's the head of this pin? All right, this is, we're having some troubles right here right now. There's the Man. pointy end. Here's the dull end. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay. Sometimes live stream sewing can be stressful. <laughs> okay, I pulled out the pin, but I still don't know where the rest of it is. Where are you hiding, pin? We lose Godless. I don't know what's I don't know what's happening. I do know the cats hear their dinner alarm. Okay, I can take care of that. Liz is speaking a new language. It's called stress and ease affair. <laughs> Very fair. I think we all kind of speak that, don't you think? I do think so. Okay, I'm gonna hope I can find that pin eventually <laughs> okay i'm not sewing at the whole thing do you know do you think remotes make us lazy because i remember yeah. televisions before remotes right you had to actually had to like get up and touch do stuff <laughs> or get yelled at and be like get up kid switch the channel i was i was the youngest i was the remote <laughs> which is why you sat right in front of the tv and they were like lay down you're in the way <laughs> oh. uh me too kilroy i lost about 10 pounds uh speaking stress ease <laughs> <laughs> Well, you didn't attach an outer panel inside out. This is true. It only took me like five tries of really looking at these seams. I found the pin. I just, it's, I'm going to like shake it and it's just going to drop out. I'm like, oh, that's where you were hiding. Oh, I'm sorry, you... Killer. You had a crappy week too. Go ahead, honey. Oh, sorry. No, I wasn't looking. One of the reasons this machine trips me out though is when you plug it in, it jumps. And so I've been electrocuted a few times. So the electrics, I jump. When the machine jumped, I jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, Ellie. I know two people that sewed left pant leg to the other inside out, cut this way and everything. Oh, I hate when you're supposed to, when you like forget that you need to cut the fabric face to face and you can't just cut it doubled over and you're like why do i have the same piece twice i used to oh, do that i double over everything now <laughs> yeah for I making enough bras i'm like all right everything is face to face and corsets <laughs> too because you have a lot of wrong pieces if you cut doubled over that's why now when I make mistakes, I'm so hard on myself. I'm like, okay, you were not paying attention because you've done this a thousand times. Right, these are just Especially foolish mistakes. <laughs> when I made my last hood, I was so like, how could you have messed this up? Like, I'm the <laughs> um, the Hobbit hood maker. I make giant hoods. My measurements were off. I was so like rusty. It was sad. It was sad. Well, it's always good to double check the measurements every once in a while. <sighs> Go back to the sketchbook. Oh, hey, <laughs> so this room is a TARDIS, okay? Just remember, <laughs> I have a metal detector. 
I love my stinking metal detector. Let someone come in my house. I don't know him. I'm going to wave this around them. Excuse me, sir. Let's have to see if you have a firearm on you. Excuse me. If you have bugs. Are you bugged? Oh, that's real. It's made of metal. Uh, those old school sewing machines, you know they're real. Yes. <laughs> Brunhilde really is a sewing machine. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If anyone feels like laughing, if you're having a bad day, a while ago, I went on a cruise with my ex-wife and my son. This was a long time ago. This was like 13 years ago. <laughs> and um, I bought a giant belt buckle. Long story short, I wore it under my clothes back on the cruise. I went through the metal detector and it did not set off the metal detector. I what? lifted up my shirt and the security guard started laughing at me. <laughs> what? Because I had a, uh, a belt buckle that was not metal. Yeah. Okay. Pin dropped on floor and shirt fits just awesome. Not shirts. <laughs> it's nothing like trying stuff on. You're like, wait, I can't really try this on because of reasons. <laughs> so. Oh, I'm reading both oh. Kilroy's comments. Why is my computer so behind? You need to get one of those things that you use in the sawmills. Those are fun. Those are those. Oh. Like I have fun with the metal detector. I have camera. I have like fish hook. i have all kinds of crazy equipment and no i have not figured out my um my microphone thing what i did is i started unplugging things that i don't use anymore like i had the i have underneath this i have a giant amp that i have a microphone that i use to terrorize people sometimes well i'll literally turn it on and just start talking and my entire neighborhood hears me <laughs> I do it to scare the yuppies every once in a while. But I unplugged that. And um, some of the electricity, like right now, I would not be able to do this. Even touch my mic. So it's taken away some of the... <laughs> and things fit I'm better crazy. than like, I tried to stitch the top. Uh, this is a magical project. <laughs> but the fabric is so cute. I love it. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I am in my flower era, my pattern era right now. <laughs> this is the flower power er times. <laughs> we need to bring that back because people have lost their damn mind. <sighs> oh. <laughs> back when people would stand around buildings. These days, though. Oh, go ahead, honey. <laughs> well, you know, the ideal, like, it's so funny because I was raised by an anti-hippie. The only thing my pops ever disliked were hippies because he was in Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I'm semi-hippie in that way where like, leave each other alone, man. <laughs> Smoke oh a J, God. leave each other alone. It's not that serious. Yeah. <laughs> One day I will be electrocuted by my obsession to plug everything in. It's because I have all these cool toys and I want them all to be plugged in at the same time and I know they can't. Like, I brought my my VCR combo back in my life because I have to play Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Will that get you a copyright strike? I... Because I'll tell I you... I'm not a gamer channel, so I'm not the, the right <laughs> human to answer that question. <laughs> my old... Um, I used to stream with these people that... Um, Sometimes they tell fairy tales. Sometimes they were right. But I, back here, I used to have two monitors. The stands are still there. It's just I replaced it with clothes. But mm -hmm. um, I would obsessively watch Akira over and over and over and over during 2020 because I was just done with the world. <laughs> and I would stream while watching Akira, and it never the stream never got taken down. And Akira is a major movie, you know? Oh, look at the library of London right now. All sorts of flower pattern stuff. Just his... Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I keep getting ads for this Kiki Fabrics that has this four-way stretch that looks like silk. And I'm like, please, Instagram, you need to stop showing me this. I'm not buying your fabric right now. The price is what stops me from ordering it online because I know I can get it cheaper by my house. That's the only thing that stops me from going crazy. What if I play it without the sound, though, Alibaba? That's what I was thinking. I think if you could, we were, without the sound, you might have a better 
proper because that's what I because like I watch hockey without the sound. I like <laughs> um, I watch a lot of things without the sound. Like even right now, um, I usually have the Animatrix going on my mini DVD player. It's my last one I have left. I am obsessed with antiquated technology. I am obsessed with. It. I still have a Walkman. I still have a Discman. <laughs> Somebody has to love it still. <laughs> what I am going to open up that museum one day. One day I will. Because like, also I have Mario on this, and like I haven't streamed that because I don't know if that'll get a copyright strike. But I I see people playing it all the time. Excuse me. But Nintendo is a is a good way to get a copyright strike, you know. Right. But I, I don't. I don't that. even know. Amazon wrecked specialty shops. I'll true. want to buy something in person. It's very true. It actually um, killed a patch shop that I used to buy from in England. But it was let's be real. It was Brexit. It was partially Brexit. Mm -hmm. But um, Amazon undercut them. And he Ugh. would hand make he would hand make these patches, okay? And then you'd look, and they would machine make them on Amazon for cheaper, but the quality wasn't oh, there. Right. So I don't know. Do you think with mass, like I miss the old mom and pop shops, okay? Because I, I grew too. up in a small town. Do you think with mass corporations taking over everything, like that, will never happen again? Where we will have that that personal feeling with, like. We used to have a coffee shop. It wasn't Starbucks. It wasn't. It was privately owned, and everybody went there. It, like um, now, there's like what, like forty Starbucks just in my town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think a big corp definitely is. It's hard. I wonder. I don't know. I think it depends on how soon the apocalypse comes because you might not have access to the big stuff. So you have to know how I to feel do like it behooves you to know how to do stuff. Sometimes I do feel like we're in the final season. Like this is the peak of, of our version of humans. The House of Sewing Museum venue, dispensary and barbecue. Kilroy, I'm there. Yeah. You got me. I'm on the roof smoking <laughs> and barbecuing already. That is I could do me some brisket, please. That is one I'm obsessed with brisket. That's one exaherado thing that I will do this summer is I will barbecue and live stream it. I'm obsessed with barbecuing. <laughs> but you guys are gonna laugh at me. I have a bunch of corrugated steel on my patio and it blocks the signal. <laughs> so I literally have ran an extension out of my bedroom so that I could get a signal in my backyard. <laughs> oh, because it's probably too much work to hardwire in from back there. Well, like that and the um, I bought what's called Arrow, and it's more okay. like I basically bought my own. Um, I don't. It's it it's a signal booster, but if I lived out in okay. the middle of nowhere, I could use it as a server. Fair. Oh, that would be fun to have an interactive electronic museum, Alibaba. And small mom and pop shops might come back if transportation costs keep going up. Yeah, and that's going to be a double edged sword. <gasps> Everybody's eating barbecue tonight. Stop making me hungry. I'm still streaming. <laughs> I barbecued on Easter. Last week I had carne asada. Me too, Liz. I miss mom and pop shops big time. But I, um, I'm obsessed with um, barbecuing, it is my thing. I mean, I, I don't even like hot dogs, and I'll <laughs> eat a barbecue hot dog. I don't even like hot dogs, but I'll eat a barbecued it, one. <laughs> it's better that way. Um, they limit. There's no box stores in the town I live in, and there's oh, there's a gajillion Starbucks, which is dumb. A Wendy's, and on the outskirts, a Burger King. There's not a lot of most things are mom and pops except that they might not have a theater season next year and they might have to cut the season short so we're gonna be Yikes. we're gonna be hurt in i know this is a weird question but is there still an iron skillet in phoenix 
like right off the freeway. I was obsessed with that place. I was I've every time been. I I because they like there is one in California, but it's in Bakersfield. And to give you perspective, it's an hour drive from where I live. So I and I don't go that north that far north unless I'm going to Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, then why would I stop at this one? <laughs> but Iron Skillet is bomb. But it's like it's just it's just a, a, a Denny's. It's like a fancy Denny's. That's it. If anyone's wondering. Okay, so like a Sherry's, but on a smaller scale. <laughs> on highway. On Highway 99 in McDonald's in good old um, Tired, Oregon, where I used to live, there was a Sherry's. I would double smoke cigarettes in there. I miss that place. <laughs> I'd have a cigarette in each hand, a cup of coffee on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one on the table is an ashtray. I would go in there. Um, I would order biscuits and gravy. I would go on like an hour before my bus came. I'd order food just so I could sit there and um, smoke and like where it was dry, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Kilroy knows. Kilroy knows. I go off an iron skillet. I go off. <laughs> Do you know what's really funny? I'm like on this. I eat the same thing over and over. So spaghetti makes me angry. <laughs> oh, I found something that no California should have in their house. Oh, hold on. It's 60 anything. sewing machines. <laughs> All right, Liz. Oh, thanks, Kilroy. Only spaghetti. You cook a lot. Oh, trying to cook more. Dutch bros. Oh, my God. <laughs> How did that even happen? <laughs> it's from when I would obsessively drive to that area. I would always have them double cup it so I could save the cups. Oh, funny. I, I would all, but I don't even know if they double cup anymore. But like whenever I would drive to Oregon, like I'm a co I'm obsessed with coffee. So, you know, like I know every coffee shop from here to Seattle. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but Dutch Brothers is awesome. It's the only place where I can get like a triple shotter at three in the morning, you know. Yeah. Are they still open 24 hours? I don't know. I've never been. But I make my coffee at home because I like my coffee like I like my submarine paint. Thank you, Alibaba. Lots of California houses have 60 plus sewing <laughs> <laughs> I cook a lot too, Kilroy. I cook a lot. As a matter of fact, I got so sick of it I taught my son how to cook and I he's a better cook than I am. <laughs> Iron yeah, Skillet please. is so good, Liz. They're, um, I'm trying to think. They're all over Oregon, but it's not like, see, Portland's different because Portland doesn't have, they're not big on like um, fast food. Portland's like San Francisco where they have more restaurants and mom and pop stuff than fast food. Mm -hmm. I actually used to call Portland the poor man San Francisco because they were very much alike, <laughs> but I could actually afford to live in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> used to. I don't think so anymore. No. I was paying. Um, keep in mind, kids, this was in the horse-drawn uh, buggy days, you know, but to live to live in downtown Portland, I was paying five seventy five, And then oh when God. I lived, when I moved to Tigard, for a two bedroom apartment, my roommate and I were paying six hundred bucks a month. Yeah, this was in the bed. this is right after the Oregon Trail happened. <laughs> <laughs> this was twenty this let's be real, this was twenty two years ago, twenty one, you know, this was a while ago. <laughs> yes. Those are net Liz is like, I wish I could pay that the prices like that. <laughs> Let's just say I celebrated New Year's 2003 in Oregon. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> oh, that is so... Oh, we're making Liz, oh, Liz is snacking on bagel chips, but this is funny, Alibaba. I know a few homes that could be museums for sewing machines. It, I believe it. I just, like, Alibaba knows, like, I'm scared of turning into Fred Sanford sewing, whatever yeah. that YouTuber is. I'm scared of becoming that man. And he is, like, an intervention. Whenever he posts a video, I'm like, okay, 
I need to watch this. It's scared straight. It is literally right. scared straight when I watch that. <laughs> Yep, this is and Porter's My 600 Pound Life for <laughs> Solist. <laughs> oh, he has a space like I do, but it's all sewing machines. And I'm like, oh, I need to watch this. <laughs> <gasps> Corned beef and meat sauce, you say, Kilroy. The pyra- mm. In the pyramid shaped can. Interesting. We only have the round cans of corned beef right now <laughs> oh i forgot about black submarine paint i'm gonna use that as an insult when i'm get really angry I forgot no about well that. we talked about that because i have a way i like to describe my coffee and i somebody said last week that <laughs> that was a good i was like okay this is a slightly more pc version than my last descriptor that doesn't always go over well <laughs> There's a um, there's a YouTuber Kilroy. His he goes by Fred Sanford Sewing Machines, and he has. I don't want to say thousands. Oh, excuse me. He has um, thousands and thousands of square feet of sewing machines. He owns more than I've ever seen in one place at one time. Like he'll pick up a rare fiddle bass sewing machine and be like, "Oh, I have seventy five of these." Or like, he's like he's oh man. If you go watch his older videos. He's in a room bigger than my garage, and he opens up another door. He's in an even bigger room. He's got to be in the south somewhere because they they have big houses out there. <laughs> this is true. I, yeah, oh, it's an intervention for me. Like honestly, watching him, but I do consider myself the real life Fred Sanford because I drive a crappy truck, and my son's gonna inherit everything and hate me for it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least you know what you have to look forward to. And I promise to be a cantankerous old man wearing crappy house coats like Fred Sanford. Oh, I promise. <laughs> With a, yes, and smoking, but differently. See, Alibaba knows. He has thousands of sewing machines. It, it scares me. Portland is expensive. I couldn't afford to live there now. Mm-mm. I always jokingly say, like, I couldn't afford to buy my house. <laughs> Right, and we only laugh because it's true. It's damn true. It's damn true. If I sold it, I'd be rich, but like... <laughs> oh. I know, but then you'd also have... Are you in a neighborhood where people move out of their single-family homes and they like try to put in a McMansion instead? We... This neighborhood is um, because we live next to the freeway. You can't do that. But oh, nice. on the on the other side of the freeway, by my uh, by the, by the other side of town, my ex wife's mom lives in a neighborhood just like mine. It was built in the seventies. Um, there's McMansions everywhere. <laughs> They're eyesores. They're freaking eyesores. Yeah. <laughs> There's some weird, like, um, code here where you can't do that. Well, that's better than the one that I heard. If you tear down a single-family house, you have to put up apartments and can't replace it with another single-family house. Quite honestly, Kilroy, the only reason I haven't moved to your area is because I have to convince my ex-wife to move with me. And, like, she's a California... She keeps on saying... Does it snow there? I said, I tell you, it snows everywhere but here, okay? Like, it snows everywhere. <laughs> it snows nine months out of the year. <laughs> Californians, like, um, I recently saw a short, because I'm old, so I watch YouTube shorts, and it was, like, a woman who was, like, Californians, when anything's under 70 degrees, and it's real, we go full parka, full snow gear, like, it's 62 degrees, it's freezing. <laughs> yeah, she would not survive. <laughs> And like Marquette, um, he's lived in cold weather cities. He doesn't care, so he's ready to go too, because we want to be rich somewhere. Like we're we're middle class here. If we moved anywhere else, we would be rich. <laughs> we would we would be above above average. <laughs> I hate McMansions too. They're just they're just an eyesore. Yeah. In, in my in my um, ex. Well, no, I, I absolutely love my ex-wife's mother. In her neighborhood, there is a three-story McMansion. 
and you can see it when you make a left you can instantly see it because it's the beginning of the neighborhood and I feel sorry for the person who lives next door to them because they blocked out the sun. Right, and their property value went down. It, I'm gonna take a picture of it. I'm gonna take a picture of it next time I'm over there. It's you. It's it's um, humongous. It looks like a firehouse among all one-story houses. It's huge. Oh, it's it's so, what an eyesore. <laughs> There's the uh, really weird mix of people here because we have the extreme middle class and then the uber rich. And then the extreme middle class try to keep up with the uber rich. And it's okay if you don't have Ferrari money, bro. Like, it's okay. Right. <laughs> you don't need to rent the Ferrari for your photo shoot just to flex. It's okay. Do you know what's really funny? Somebody that I grew up with that was yacht club rich, um, he rented a Ferrari. And I thought that was really interesting. And, he, and like... I sent him a message and he was like, bro, like that's a bad investment. Like you buy a car like that, you never get anything back ever. He was like, I will never own a car that expensive. <laughs> yeah, not on my radar. I'm glad, Liz. Uh, but some... Yes, there's nothing wrong with government assistance in whatever form it takes. <laughs> Most people I li that live around here are on that. <sighs> like, let's be real. Like, uh, America is broke. That's why when people front, I'm like, dude, it, it, it's really okay. Like, we're all, like, we're all all on the <laughs> <laughs> unless you're a, a billionaire, we're all kind of in the same boat. Right, we're all riding the short bus together. Absolutely. And, like, <sighs> if people knew the taxes that I pay, like, I miss grunt work i miss driving a tractor <laughs> i know that a couple years like, you're gonna get a refund i'm like hmm it's been a long time yeah. <laughs> there's someone i know that got extremely rich off of real estate and i look at her she lives in a mansion her she lives in a real mansion and she lost it on Facebook one day and told the truth that she pays more money in taxes than I've made in a year. <laughs> not like, not like, you know, like she's rich for real, but she paid yep. a lot. I was shocked because she told the truth. I think she was mad, but like she told the truth. And I was like, holy cow, you do pay a lot of money. But again, oh. she's not a billionaire. Right. So she is just rich enough to get screwed. Yeah, exactly. It's the funniest thing. <sighs> Kilroy, I love when people ask that. I love that. <laughs> or I, I made this myself. Thank you for noticing. Can I give a shout out to rolled hem presser feet? Why iron when I can just stick it through the rolled hem and it just folds everything and stitches beautifully except for where it doesn't go over the seams and I have to hand finish it later but let's well oh no I can do that on the machine too I wonder if this General Motors paint pen from 2002 is still good there's only one way to find out <laughs> if I open it up and it stinks oh no it's dead Maybe put it in some water face down and see if it absorbs some, if it just needs to, some lubrication. Well, as an archaeologist, I'll let it age a little bit more. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, it's in my Dutch brother's, it's in my Dutch brother's cup. And part of me is like, why was it there? But I've owned so many cars. Like, who, who knows? It was from work. You just forgot about it. I do repress work because it actually is adulting. Like I repress, like I do all kinds of impressive stuff at work and I'm like, oh, this is just adulting. It is. That's one reason I've never put a horse or a um, tractor in a wall, like anything in a video because it, it would detract away from what I'm doing. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> he is <Ailey>. dead. <laughs> I did not know that they were not, they were all the same. Well, this is true. I do have two sets and they're, what did somebody tell me last week? The greased because I've got the one in the paper box that does say greased on all of them, and then 
my white version, which does not say anything on them, but they are sturdy. Oh my gosh. Kilroy, you are officially uh, the um, the doctor. <laughs> you are officially the doctor of this spaceship, of the fleet. You are a fleet yes. doctor. Because I'm just the pretty nurse in the corner. <laughs> I'm a doctor, Jim, not an auto mechanic. <laughs> I miss. See, I, I still watch old, um, the original um, Star Trek. I love that 1970s, like sharp like you're an idiot <laughs> i miss that it's all right lizzie i'd rather do that and still work i do not want to be on disability no 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 in my opinion fear and it i don't but i don't i don't know if anybody really wants to be on it but it's nice that it for if for folks in need that it's an option because at least we're not like canada who's like here we'll just save the government a whole bunch of money. I wonder what the numbers for last year were, because I think the 10,000 was from the year before. And I'm so sorry about that. that. That C11 looks like it's going to pass. That's like Canada's version of restrict, but different and equally dumb. So what does that mean, though? Which one? C11, or just restrict in general. <clears throat> Okay, so, well, they're they're different. So C11 is, like, content creators have to promote, like, Canadian content. Oof. For whatever that means. And they're going to restrict folks who don't promote Canadian content. Restrict is the one that has to do with VPNs and oh, okay. using third-party companies the one you read. to spy on everybody. Yes, that debacle of a stream. <laughs> that I didn't get. It's just horrible. So listen to yeah, Friday's Future Conflict for a better breakdown of it. You know what, though? I listen. Like, we should all be scared. Like, when you don't have the right to be a complete and total a-hole, if you're not hurting anybody, you should be scared for everybody. Yeah. This, <laughs> they were saying that it's even worse than the Patriot Act and that we didn't realize what we lost until it was too late. So, yeah, we... Complain to whoever, please. It's <laughs> don't let this happen. Killer. Yeah, C eleven is a cracker jacks box. Forced <sighs> nationalism should scare anyone. Think about well, that. Forced nationalism, like, oh, you have to promote the second you said it about Canada, I was like, Oh, come on, Canada. You were never that fascist. <laughs> no, and C eleven or not C eleven, and the restrict act is like, oh, CCP hold my beer i can do you one better than that let's see here killer right like good luck hope you like watching your content creators so sink like the titanic <laughs> oh, yes and alibaba they're doing it to me right now they're doing <laughs> it to me right now <laughs> canada and news agencies online will be like soviet style t-a-s-s new agency banned anything but Canadian, right? Define Canadian. Exactly, right? This is Canada's version of what's a woman is define Canada. Okay, so <laughs> Sorry, this that was in poor taste. Well, I endorse poor taste, but like, now this makes that meme that I saw a meme this morning. It completely makes sense now. Thank you for enlightening me. I'm out of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> No, because I'm a meme addict. And I saw a meme and I was like, I truly do not get this. I do. It's funny now. And then I saw oh, another good. one. I'm glad we can make life more humorous <laughs> by understanding one meme at a time. <laughs> exactly. Liz, I agree. But you're like, I've, I've got a condition that they let somebody self-delete with government funding for. And I'm like, I sometimes days suck, but not that bad. <laughs> Canada, I agree with Alibaba, I'll... though. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Like, what, like I say that all the time. Like, what do you define as American? Like, you can't. Like, I know American people that speak Thai. I know, I know Americans that, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you define as, like, <laughs> American, you know? Oh, it makes me so angry. Forced yeah. nationalism. You should all be scared. Yep. Canada also has had a... A law for decades that Canadian TV channels have to show a certain amount of Canadian produced shows. Yes, this is 
that updated to streamers and YouTube and other forms of content. Is that why um, they were pushing um, that Michael Shanks show, Raising Hope, I think is the name? And I used to watch my um, gay Victorian affair, too. I used to watch a lot of Canadian television. And um, there was a Muslim family that lived out in the frontier somewhere. And it was like Little Mosque on the Prairie was a great (laughs) show. I loved that stinking show. (laughs) I miss Canadian television, actually, now that I think about it. (laughs) Every hawk you could ever want. Except that That's the CBC true. is a huge, expensive, government-funded propaganda agent also. Like, well, that's all, that means. was... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to go off about how NPR doesn't... Got me out about being called publicly funded. I'm like, you're the national public radio. Where do you get your money from, kids? Yeah, what else are we going to call you? <laughs> this is not Air America. That makes a lot of sense, though, because um, Canada has been having a lot of ads. Like, um, <clears throat> I watch a lot of crazy stuff. So I get a lot of, like, British Airways. Um, I get a lot of travel stuff. And, like, Israel has really been pushing come visit us. And so has Canada. Canada has a ton of commercials. Um, come to Canada. Oh, it's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing. And I know this is going to offend people, but every single person in the in the commercial is a person of color in the Canadian commercial. <laughs> oh, Kelly Baba, is this Doug McKenzie from Diagalon? And they like arrested him and put up all those stupid charges that didn't make sense. And Diagonal Diagalon is a joke. It was a joke. It doesn't exist, though. They are have like patches and t-shirts now because <laughs> you're like well you're gonna be an asshole so then we're gonna be parody why not my predecessor <laughs> used to always say <laughs> <laughs> my boss used to always tell me if you're gonna be an a-hole be a big one as he was being an a-hole <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lasso. Good to to yes. the best. I've seen the Visit Quebec ones too. They, I watch a lot of stuff that's like out of my region, so I get a lot of ads from, a, especially Israel. Israel, for some reason, they're spending a lot of money to make themselves look like they're Monaco. But let me tell you, you're not Monaco. Like you have small arms flyer off on those beaches. <laughs> right. How many Formula One races do you have a year, Israel? Yeah. <laughs> I would, you know what, honestly, as someone who's been there, it is one of the most, it's beautiful, but there's an eerie feeling when you're in a place where you can get hit with a rocket. Let's be real. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be... <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Not no, that brave No, but Monaco, anymore. on the other hand, really is beautiful also. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I wish that's the kind of money I want. I want to have Monaco money. <laughs> yes. Yes, please sign me up for that, but not the tax <laughs> bracket. <laughs> I do all the time, Alibaba. Um, it's because it's I watch. VPN. It is my VPN. <laughs> well, also, um, they advertise towards Americans too, and I watch. Um, I watched this one Catholic preacher who, like, I grew up with. (laughs) It's weird to me that he's on YouTube, okay? I watch him. He's a good guy. But anyways, um, he can do a keg stand like like a champ, too. He must be one of those Irish ones. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I did grow up Roman Catholic, which basically is the same thing as Irish Catholic. You know, like, it's rigid. Rigid, you know. But, um... Whenever I watch anything, or I watch um, this one guy in England who is a nation of Islam, and I get Israel ads for him, and basically anything religious, (laughs) Israel's on it. Israel. And um, they weirdly follow drag queen stuff, too. Alexa, 
Is gay marriage legal in Israel? Sorry, I don't know that one. <laughs> I think I just exceeded my uh, robots. Uh, I think you I just asked hit too the many questions for one day. You, you, you did your quota. Alexa needs to go to bed now. <laughs> please wait here. Please wait here while we send the authorities to your house. <laughs> You asked the wrong question. <laughs> that is the funniest meme of all time. Um, like when they're like, like in the 1960s, people were scared of phone tap. Then they, they go to the 2000s and someone's like, phone tap. What's a recipe for spaghetti? Phone tap. How far is blah, blah, blah from blah, blah, blah? Like <laughs> we have changed as a species. <laughs> we have <clears throat> You guys get a metal detector. Just you can okay. literally walk around randomly. There's metal components in that. In that. <laughs> they would look at Brunhild and be like, You've hurt me. There's too much cast iron here. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> this room's a TARDIS. I've been a million different things in my life. I want more you. Liz, we all do. I don't even, and I'm not even a gambler. I just want to go and and um, hold a cigar because I wouldn't be able to smoke it because I'm asthmatic. Just hold a cigar. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful there. Oh, this is like, like the relaxing you. part of the week. I love streaming with you because like everything is so stressful all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I know, except that I'm like, oh, it's Sunday night, which means tomorrow's Monday. This is like my last hurrah. <laughs> I know, like, this is like my weekend because like from Tuesday on, I have to be an adult. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I had to deal with work stuff earlier today. This is your too funny Kilroy. If you need a recipe for something as simple as spaghetti, you deserve to be tapped. <laughs> <laughs> I think about this all the time, though. Like, I'm boring. Like, if you want to tap me, you're just going to see my obsessive habits. That's all. You're going to say, oh, this guy obsessively does this. He watches this. Why does he always order patches at 4.30 in the morning? <laughs> How many sewing machine tutorials does one human need to watch? <laughs> oh, my gosh. In my YouTube, okay, if you type in S... It'll say singer tutorial for blah, blah, blah. Singer for any machine that I bought and I didn't know, I'm like, YouTube's got my back. I know YouTube's got my back because there is someone who's made a video about it. <laughs> well, see, then this is your next, your jump over to Rumble is that they don't, nobody has curated that content over there. <laughs> hey, butterfly. <laughs> hey, hey. Back from moving sewing machines. Yay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I have like six in that closet. I, I am so embarrassed for my sewing, my sewing machine habit because I've been counting lately and <laughs> I had way more than I thought. I think Just, it's time for a spreadsheet. Let me think. Just with an eye shot, okay? There's one under there behind all the TOS stuff. It's one, two. See, the problem is I have to, like, think behind cabinets. You can't okay. even count. We have to be quiet. Or this is like me when I'm okay. counting stitches when I'm knitting. <laughs> oh, no, no. There's three right there. Duh, because the baby lock's right there. There's three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, under on the far cabinet, there's, there's two. So that's 12, 13, 15, because there's two under there. <laughs> 17, 18. No, no, 19, because there's two under there. Okay, 25, and that's not counting the ones that are on the floor. Hold on. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, because the, um, what's it called counts? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, just with an eye shot. I need professional help. And that, and like, I'm not kidding you. Like, there's six in the cabinet, so that's 40 something. Behind these flags are two giant display counters. Every single shelf has a sewing machine on it. Every single shelf. That's where I hide all my Canmores. Right. Because, <laughs> oh, Butterfly, because sewing machines are supposed to be bought at 0430. <laughs> Ellie, not all 
not That's all the good. singer machines. <laughs> oh, killer. Right. Fun fact about Monaco. If you are a resident of Monaco, you are prohibited by law from going inside any Monaco casino. Fascinating. What? So that would cure no... But, oh, Liz, you're too funny. Don't ask Alexa too many questions on Sunday. It's her drunken Sunday time. <laughs> hey, she can be a wine mom. She wants to be a wine mom. I'm okay with it. I'm glad you like our Sunday streamies, Liz. Kilroy, this stream and Godless Sewing Telethon every Monday are seriously what I look forward to. Oh, that is... Oh, thank you. You're so thoughtful. You've, like, just made my cold, broken heart one size bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kilroy. And and Butterfly, like, I probably will never admit the real amount of sewing machines I own. It's over 80, though. <laughs> you need a spreadsheet, especially when you sell them, so you know what's actually in your inventory. Like, That's part of the problem. And for and, like, tax, been... for, like, your insurance, if anything were to happen, how would you know what you needed to, the true value for replacement? <laughs> I am professional help. You need to have a singer 20. <laughs> 29 kids. Thank you. I like Alibaba's <laughs> philosophy. Keep buying them. Keep buying them. I like that. I like that. <laughs> you know what? And I'll tell you, um, it's part of the love is putting them um, back together. It, yeah. I love, like, the, the crummier they are, like, I'll buy it. There's been ones where they're like, you want this? I'll give it to you for free. And I will never forget the sewing machine I found on the street. I still have it. It still works. It was a homeless sewing machine literally sitting on the street by itself. <laughs> oh, that's so that I don't YouTube's been feeding me funny videos. It's someplace where it's tropical. This guy was like riding his bicycle and pulled out a rusted out singer from like the shrubbery on the side of the road awesome. like it was just left awesome. there for trash and took it home <laughs> and brought it back to work fully <laughs> made her functional again <laughs> it was a good I video but there was no talking oh killer yep it, killer is that way with books i have them they have them stacked on top of the books that are properly up properly on the bookshelf then there are all the other random stacks i have around the room i just keep getting them i i stopped myself from my book habit because my kindle on my kindle app on my phone takes up way less space <laughs> i'm a weirdo who still buys books Kilroy, you have to i'm gonna come back and take all of these ideas you could um you can be my production manager i love that Honestly, um, one of the things I love about rescuing sewing machines is the adventure of finding them or like the story behind like, I almost got in a car accident. I got pulled over by the Ventura police. <laughs> I, I, I had such adventures buying all of these sewing machines. Like, I think that's part of the, the, the fun and the love of it. Right. It's the story behind it. Like, who, who used this and what did you make? And then I will bring you back to the 21st century wow there is a guy i know in india got a singer 12 out of a lake and fixed it i want i want something like that that's there's some of those real rusty rusty machines where i'm like man you would literally have to take it apart completely i've only done that three times where i've taken the machine apart completely and put it back together it's work right and the pieces at the bottom with the pins that like i don't know intricate timing and that's why i respect anyone who can get timing on a sewing machine i had to learn it took me two or three years to learn how to get timing right <laughs> i do i've had major sewing i've driven to san bernardino county which is basically arizona <laughs> <laughs> to go thrifting. <laughs> well, if it was on your way to Vegas, then you're like, yeah, this is just a stop on the way. Well, that's that's more that's more north. Like heading okay. south, like anywhere on the 10, that's Arizona. Heading anywhere north, that's um Vegas. Okay. <sighs> well, northeast. 
because anything north is Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Don't forget about your big sister to the north. <laughs> Oh, butterfly, the stories and machines are so interesting. I love taking them apart and putting them back together. Only featherweights for me. You got to know what works well for you. I'm, Liz agrees with Kilroy about the books and notebooks. Yeah, though I did lose some journals along the way, which may have not been a bad thing. Kilroy, now I have the disco song, Take Your Time, Do It Right by SOS. I love that song. <laughs> that is literally the stuff I listen to. I, I, um, I, my playlist would make you laugh. I rock out. <laughs> now I have that song just cemented in my head. Take your time. <laughs> That's back when people like you actually had to ta have talent and play um, instruments back then. That was right because auto tune era. didn't exist. Oh my gosh! So, uh, speaking of auto tune, there's a uh, the rapper six one nine, and I only know this because oh. of Twitter. Yeah, he got beat up, moved to a different country, and now literally is making song like FIFA style songs. Like he, and do you want to know why? Because he owns he owes a couple hundred thousand dollars to um, Amex, and he probably owes a bunch of like taxes. Like he, I like I truly think he staged this, like Jesse Smollett. I truly do, but Jesse Smollett was dumb because his story was unbelievable. And he recorded a whole bunch of it. The guy showed up with a noose around his neck, and the cop was like, "You want to take that okay. off? This is getting awkward. This is getting awkward." Like the cop was literally like, "Bro, you can take that off now." Like anybody else would have immediately taken it off. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you right. don't wear it just to show the cops like <laughs> government we do not need restrict let's just let dumb people be dumb people you do not need we do not need your intervention for people to be stupid <laughs> oh i just don't i just don't do not understand people anymore i just do not like people that do things for the internet like it's not going to age well no juicy smo smooly <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Jesse Smollett yeah. ruined it for everybody. He did because, like, in, in the African American community, like, there are still tensions between the LGBTQIA community and the uh, Black community. So there was a lot of men seeing, like, like, look, sissies are liars. Like, gay men are liars, and they blamed all gay men on stupid Jesse Smollett. You know, I actually stopped talking to a few people on Facebook because of Jesse Smollett. <laughs> Oh, they said some crazy stuff. Yep. They said some crazy stuff, you know. I know. Can you be thinking of crazy stuff? How has it been a whole year since Johnny Depp beat Amber Heard? <laughs> I almost spit my coffee out when you said that. <laughs> has it really been a full year? Man, yes. I have no life. I did a live stream with somebody I about that. Because I was, my ex-wife and I, we get along now, but like court is brutal. Court's brutal. And there was a lot of false things said about me in court that when it came out to light, they were like, oh, you're just lying. He is not that spectacular. He's actually quite boring. <laughs> you could only wish this was the human you were talking about. <laughs> but I still to this day, I have the transcripts. Um, a, my ex-wife called me a monster and I still am in full custody. And B... That was the most legendary court date ever. Um, they they wanted to um, they wanted to drug they wanted to drug test me, and the judge was like, "You you have to have hair that's past an inch and a half." And I looked her in the eye and I said, "I'm hairless except for my eyebrows." All, on court record, she looks at me and she's like, "What kind of metrosexual are you?" <laughs> the court died. Everybody, the court just erupted in laughter. She was, she called me, I got called a Metro by a, by a <laughs> Like the one who knows where the Brazilian waxing is good. And Look, it gets hot. Calls. It gets hot here in Southern California and I'm big on hygiene, okay? I don't like the chafing. <laughs> this was before, I didn't start growing this out up until like 2020 when depression kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't rock facial hair, um... 
until until 2020. Do you know what's crazy? Like when I see like Kilroy and Butterfly, like I've been streaming for like three, like I've been on YouTube for four something years, but I've been streaming like all my anniversaries are coming up on a year and a half, two years. It doesn't, it feels longer. Or like three years because of 2020. Like I've only like had my channel, sewing channel for like a year, almost two years, but I've been streaming for almost three, you know? Mm -hmm. But it feels like so much longer because the plague had us all trapped in our house. Yeah. I, I, all the things that they were testing out with that. I, I, I like I nothing scares me. And I was genuinely sitting in my house worrying myself. Oh, what if this happens? And watching just all these terrible videos. That's when I tuned oh. out the world. In 2020, I was like, I'm I'm gonna go back to watching British television. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I had um all of Flying Circus on uh, VHS, so I watched every episode. And I still oh. have it every episode. <laughs> Monty Python's Flying Circus. I watched Stargate over again. Oh, Monty Python is so good. They can't remake that either. Oh, Liz, I'm a four Jeff years ago. Four years ago, you convinced me to start an Instagram. That's it. It does not feel like that long. Because you were like, you need to share all this stuff you're sewing because you literally just sew and li let it lay around the house. <laughs> I had stuff and sometimes in wear it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I agree, Kilroy, that how people actually, I think I know how this happened because some people trauma bonded with her and didn't, didn't actually watch the trial and just watched what mainstream media was saying about the trial. And they were like, well, of course, totally. but if you watched it for the painful six weeks, and the metadata and all of the photos being doctored and all of this stuff, you're like, she was a horrible person. She was <laughs> is, a ghoul. Did she really have a baby? Or is this like a hired out kid and a doll? Like, I, I, wor I worry about this child if they do exist. She would like video, like, look, Johnny Depp has hardcore addiction issues. He's a junkie. Okay, but he wasn't hurting anybody. He was passed out on his own couch in his own house, minding his own business, and she would videotape him. I'm anti-exploitation, even if when someone's vulnerable like that, I'm anti-exploitation. Do not right. exploit. Do not exploit. That. A She's a ghoul. <laughs> yeah. She tried to move to a desert town out here, and they outed her, and she didn't move. It was somewhere out in San Bernardino in the middle of the desert. Oh, right, because she sold her, like, Joshua Tree property, then tried to pretend to have a fake name in Spain, and now, what, she's back stateside? Oh, right, because her insurance, <laughs> she still got her insurance company legal debacle, because she's still trying to get them to pay, and California is like, no, we don't pay for knowledgeable acts of... No, not here. <laughs> ...misgrievance, like, you're, you've got to fork over the and back end. She's crazy because be careful, Liz. Like she was trying to be, she was trying to hide. Imagine if you're Amber Heard and you show up at a grocery store out in the middle of nowhere. They're gonna notice it's you. They're gonna know it's you. You stick out. You have a famous face. People are gonna be like, "You look familiar," you know. Like <laughs> I was in Aquaman. Like, <laughs> like in LA, we have a weird rule. Okay. Like, when we see famous people, like, most people leave them alone. You can tell when someone's not from L.A. because they ask them for an autograph. Like, I've seen all kinds. I've seen Sean Connery. I didn't ask him for an autograph. I've seen all kinds of people. I heard a story about Patrick Stewart. And, and because of that, I leave people. Excuse me. I leave people alone. Oh, Liz, you're time traveling, I think. You're back in your TARDIS. That's all right. <laughs> exactly, Kilroy. I would like I laughed so hard because people were like, uh, Amber Heard walked into my Vons and I took a picture of her. <laughs> and that's how she got exposed and she literally moved like um after the story broke. Because 
in California, we have slow news days. So, and let's be real. Where I live, they talk about Britney Spears on the news. They talk about Kim Kardashian on the news. They oh. Johnny Depp, oh. Johnny Depp walked his schnauzer today. Right? <laughs> well, I thought he was living in out of the, the country. But I think people need need to leave Britney alone. She's got the emotional, social intelligence of a 12-year-old. Okay. And, I yeah, have maybe she's making about. some poor choices right now, but this is the first time in her life where she's allowed to make poor choices. Just Absolutely. Get off of her Instagram, I'm so subscribed, it makes my heart sink. Because it, I'm going to tell you, like, like, it's... Let me take my hat off. It's the look in her eye. You see my face? Do you see this face? Yo. I may not look coherent, but I am. <laughs> Britney Spears has that look like she's looking past you. She has that thousand yard stare like she's been in prison. Like she reminds she's me. She basically has been. <laughs> developmentally, she is. She is. Her Instagram makes me want to cry. Leave her alone. Seriously. Like she, and, and she's rich. So she, she can is. do whatever she wants. <laughs> exactly and i don't like the feeling i don't trust her husband because he was hired as her trainer when her dad was still holding her down i just i want to believe in my heart, of somebody, heart that he has her best interest but i just don't know as someone who's dated um somebody who had 10 times more money than me no matter what you look scummy when you come in the situation no matter what, because people are going to say, oh, he just wants her money. Or, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And this particular yeah, person, I, like, I actually liked the person. I didn't care about any of the benefits from the relationship. I just liked the person, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, what about that guy right, who but dated... But also not their... developmentally stunted, either. True, true. You have experience just... to know. She scares me. She does. Like, I watch her reels and stuff, and I'm like, A... I wish I had that much money to constantly be on vacation in different countries. <laughs> Every time I look up, she's on a yacht somewhere, you know, and she may just yeah. live, live in Marina Del Rey or something. But <laughs> Whatever she wants to be happy, just spend your money the way you want. Enjoy your life. I hope they finally get the 12th accounting done and finish the 13th. Like she's still in legal battles with her freaking father. This is not over yet. Money is awful. I'm telling you, like, my brother, who who basically raised me, we don't talk over $2,000. And if I see him, it's on. On site. <laughs> on site. <laughs> and he was like, that man was like my second father. And we hate each other. Money is awful. It makes people just, it brings the worst out of people. Yeah, it does. Brittany, but the thing is, Brittany, she's yeah. sober, and she has that look in her eye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Kilroy. Yeah. I, I spent my um, early childhood around a lot of adults that had a lot of trauma, a.k.a. my father and his Vietnam friends. She has that look in her eye. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen like a big dude that's crazy like someone that you know you can't stop that's what britney spears reminds me she has that look in her eye of like mm -hmm. just a juggernaut you know yeah yeah <laughs> but then when you're this when you're my little everybody looks big and scary and crazy <laughs> you would not you would trip out where i live because most people are taller than me where I, I feel like I live in the land of giants. It's like like everyone's tall around here. <laughs> I would need to always wear my... I'm not supposed to wear these outside of the house boots. <laughs> you know what, though? You are right, though. We need to leave her alone because she is developmentally... Um, like I yeah, said, I, I always... She's and special. And I don't care I for know music, some, I know I someone who went to prison... <laughs> at 19 and got released at 30 and mentally they're still 19 years old yeah in a lot of ways you know <laughs> and tech technology has changed a lot since then 
oh, when this person went away, there were flip phones and they came back and were the Jetsons, basically. You know, right? <laughs> 11 years is a long time, especially in the modern era. Like from the look at just the inception from the first iPhone and just take 11 years from there to how the technology like like we take this internet, this version of the Internet for granted. I remember mm -hmm. chat rooms. <laughs> yes, those sketchy AOL chat rooms. Oh, oh yeah, I remember those. Like I remember all that. Or you'd like physically meet someone from online. Like I didn't think the internet was real until I met someone online from a chat room, and I was like, "Oh, the internet is real." I never did that, but I did learn some things that I probably shouldn't have learned at eighteen. That may have. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She does need her space, Kilroy. I yeah. agree with you. Yeah, I, well, I think she's taking that space. I think this that is the the now for her. She's doing all those things that she could literally could not do. Do you think um, Britney's on some psychotropics? Like, go back to the conversation of like, where's that fine line of like being on something that helps and you're just um, drugged? Where's that? Where's that difference? That's a good question because I think she did say, like she is, didn't she say she's got ADHD and is on Adderall? Yes. And then it was funny. I heard the other day, in most parts of the world, like including South Korea, Adderall's illegal. Like you can't even bring your legal prescriptions in. So we're the only country that is like literally giving kids and adults legal speed. So I that made me question. I'm like, mm, maybe this is a problem. Like, does the rest of the world not have ADHD? And how do they manage it if they're not drugging their kids up the way we are? I think people are patient though. Like I've people talk trash about uh, Mexico, but my aunt had more patience than any human being I've ever met in my life. She was a rock of a human being. I am an American. I want everything now, now, now. Like <laughs> Yeah. So many child performers went the way of Britney in so many ways. I agree. I agree. And I don't know if anyone ever remembers the Steve Harvey show, but there was a character, his name was Romeo. He um, was slain in my town by two young women who lured him away and he got kidnapped. And there's a lot of child actors that live in my town. A lot. <laughs> well, that's like the weird. Oh, here, let me let's catch up with the stream. Let's see here. Yes, we did that one. Kilroy, I remember dial up when cell phones were only for adults. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so true. I've seen people who have been messed up on Adderall. She doesn't check that box for me. She's just got tons of trauma. That is probably also valid. Uh, Alibaba. In 1984, my friend and I did a download. It was a, a 20 bytes per second and took a week <laughs> of long distance. Thousands of dollars spent for an Apple 2C game just sticks in 3D like a Dungeon Dragon game. Oh, God. You're... <laughs> you, you probably cried when you that phone call. <laughs> Back to what Gilroy said, like, if you ever saw me freak out, you'd probably think I was on drugs and I'd be dead sober, just adrenaline, you know? Like, when people freak out, they look like they're on a ton of stuff, but they're just really, like, finally had it. Yeah. <laughs> Brittany's just traumatizing for me because she, like, was so well put together for so long. And then when the, the I don't know, I don't know, it just... I think it's because I'm subscribed to her on Instagram and every time I open my Instagram, she's the first thing that pops up because I need to subscribe to more people. <laughs> <laughs> True. I recently started subscribing to drag queens because they um, have entertaining Instagrams. Fair. I'm not, I'm not an Instagram guy though. Like even I'm kind of outgrowing Twitter because I don't like arguing with people on the internet. And once people figured out that Emily Willingham was me, it kind of killed me arguing with about British politics with people. And so now I have to create a whole new sock account to argue with, with British politics with people. <laughs> that just Cause I get so into much it. Work. 
well, I get into it. And like people would always ask me, well, you're an American. Why do you care? When I presented myself as a British um, woman, people would just, we just get into arguments. And I'd have the same arguments with the same people. <laughs> <laughs> I miss that Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I curated yeah. my feed, so it's not that. <laughs> now it's just a bunch of edgy 14 year olds screaming. Um, the J word and the N word because they can get away with it on Twitter now <laughs> or calling everybody the J word or the N word. It's just boring. I was, I recently was on a hate stream and like, it's been a long time since I've been around a real, like real ignorant person. And this guy came in a stream trying to say, Oh, I'm less of a human in all of this. And you show your hand when you are that insecure. When you are that insecure, you show your hand of like how fragile and razor, razor thin your ego is, you know? I feel sorry for people like that, that judge their life based on other people. Yeah, because I wonder if it's like that they've had no life experience either. So they're like, oh, everything's great. And they're like, well, you've never worked a day in your life. You live in some family member's basement and have no responsibilities it's just weird to me when people have that much muscles online like it's just weird to me because i'm a tactile person man let me tell you like i'm mouthy in real life no like i don't run up on people like that and people don't run up on me like that in real life you know so yeah. it, my internet in, my internet um interactions have been unreal because i'm like i wonder if these people do this in real life like, those are the kind of guys that yell at their mom and kick the cats and stuff. Like, yeah, <laughs> I didn't think those people existed. <laughs> right. Twitter I'm is going to pop of off real quick. It, okay. I'm going to let you hold down the stream. I'm going to hide my... Oh, I Twitter is the home of all the politically, political whack jobs you should try not to be. I agree. Twitter trips me out because I live in a really peaceful um, world. So when I get online, it makes me wonder how many people have violent intentions in their head or just in general. It's crazy. And I've, I've um, really backed off of Twitter. Instagram is fun because they have the shorts and there's like, I've, I have fallen into certain niche categories. Um, Facebook, let's be real. Like Facebook I'm friends with all of um, any organization I was ever in. I'm friends with all of my friends' moms. Like, my mom is on my Facebook, so I don't get crazy on Facebook ever. <laughs> <coughs> Man, my um, computer is way behind the stream for some reason. Thank you. Thank you, Kilroy. Thank you. Recently, I have ran into that. Like people or or like people who want to trash me just because I'm alive. Like get to know me. You will find a million other reasons to um, dislike me. <clears throat> I fought hard for my peace. I can't understand people who willingly ruin theirs. I agree. I agree. It just... And I think that's why I look at people like a social experiment sometimes where I'm like, I wonder if you're that angry, like when no one's looking. Because when no one's looking, I'm like um, watching a television show and sitting cross-legged on the floor, smoking a J with an ashtray. <laughs> I forgot. Absolutely. Peace is an important thing too. And that's why... I've really um, brought back how many people I stream with, too. Because if someone doesn't have inner peace, it'll eventually spill out into your life. Well, not even... I don't even know what you would call peace. Just they have enough mental wherewithal to try to not ruin your life. <laughs> yeah, I'm only accidentally an asshole. I try not to do it on purpose. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> You know what? I have certain non and certain mannerisms that I do that drive people crazy, but I can't change it. Like, that's different than, like, me willingly doing something to annoy people, you know? And don't get me wrong. I've poked the bear 
a hundred times. There is like um, recently, I finally got to talk to my stalker, and I said everything I know that would that would drive them mentally insane, and they went and had a live stream about it because I know that they're fragile and weak. And you wouldn't be stalking me. <laughs> What's that? Sorry. And then they capitalized on it. We're like, and I, you gave me content for a week. I can complain about Godless all this time. You know what? If trashing me makes you feel better, have at it. If you're not hurting anybody, have at it. Talk about me all you want. Show my Karen video. Like I always say, there's probably a hundred more out there. Like I'm lit. I have fun. I am on the <laughs> road sure at three in the my, morning. Drop, drop all the links in the description and <laughs> rage watch my channel. <laughs> I, like, that's what I'm saying. Like I just... Because I'm tactile, I don't understand how people think that they can. Like, okay, I'm going to say this. I don't understand the court of public opinion. Man, if you, if I'm not getting served with real papers, you can talk about me all you want. You can say anything you want about me. Call me a dog. Call, call Say racist things. Talk about my mom. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> don't say I don't have a bathroom in my office space. Just don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the court of public opinion trips me out. Or as adults, when like someone will tick someone else off and they go running to other people and they're like, oh, look at so-and-so. Look what they've done. I'm like, okay, they they said something that hurt your feelings. Like, okay. Right. Why I don't you just come hurt. talk to me? Like, they didn't do it. Why do you need to like play telephone about it? I just don't, I don't know. I, I think because I had a traumatic high school experience, it's weird to me to see how many people developmentally still act like they're in high school. Does that, does that make sense? It does. And I think people do. And yeah. It's just weird. It's, 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 and I'm talking about people in their like 40s and 50s that I, that I, because most people I hang out with are like 10 years older than I, well, they're in their 50s and 60s. <laughs> Most people I hang out with are, are older than me, you know, so. Yo, it happens. I just, I just don't hang out with people. <laughs> yeah, that's See, I, mine are, um, like, most of my interactions are from my, um, my workplace, you know. I do, and unfortunately that doesn't mean that I get to have meaningful outside of my workplace relationships. <laughs> I still go home by myself. <laughs> Mine, and I say this all the time, because I, um, because of nepotism, I know that everyone's being nice to me because my mom um, runs the place because she signs their paychecks. So I consider a lot of relationships disingenuine. Fair. And it's not even a mean thing. I'm not even mean about it. I'm not mad about it. I'm not like, oh, these people, like, hey, it's Nepo. Nepo is real, you know? But they're nice to me because they have to be. Hey, Hello, Dick, Dick how's it going? You know, they're nice. And I, there's actually someone that I've known for years, for over 15 years, and she quit and she unfriended me on Facebook and everything. And I was like, I thought we were friends. <laughs> oh. And she was my homie, and she was one of the only other people that, like, really spoke Spanish. Because people be like, I speak Spanish, and I'll test it. Like, she spoke Spanish for real. And, like... Yeah, no hablo español, eh? <laughs> <laughs> It's a weapon. I love... I love when people do not think I speak another language. I love it. I Because <laughs> then you know their real intentions towards you. Right. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't like I grew up hearing Yiddish all the time, so I could understand it by hearing. But my family was like, you're in America. You will be American. You only know one language. <laughs> you know, my um, my mom grew up in 1950s Los Angeles. And my grandparents were like that. They're like, you only have to speak. Even though we speak Spanish, you have to speak English only. Yep. And I have matching shorts for my Yay. TikTok. Now I don't know what to sew. <laughs> oh, that's the story of my life. That's where I, like, after I make all these sweaters and jackets, I sit here and I'm like, because it's a Herculean task. Lining things, you know. It is. <laughs> you know, the cutting, the pinning, the pressing, the unpressing, the fancy seams. Because I, 
love a French seam or a flat felled seam, so you stitch twice as much. It's what usually oh. keeps me occupied for longer. Before I got the job I had now, I um, I am Mr. Independent Business. I'm a born hustler. I had a paint business. I still have all my ladders. I still have my paint gun and everything. But the thing about painting is that you spend more time taping and tarping than painting. Yep. You could spend three days. I did a house. I spent two to three days taping every cabinet, everything. It took me 45 minutes to paint the entire house. And it was a giant six-bedroom house. <laughs> oh, man. So Actually, it's all stuff. about. No, right. Ahead. I. Oh, I've got. Oh, it's not even. I, I think I'm going to do. I've got. Can you do it? Is it right here? Just like a mumbling chatter, Kathy. I have in my stash this cute. Or the, oh, like oh let's get a big picture. He's like ginkgo leaves with red, goldy chrysanthemums. Wow, birds are starting to get hard after three almost three hours. Um, I think I'm gonna cut a circle skirt and have it attached, um, all in one sleeve bodice with some. But boutons. I don't know why. Why do I want to put buttons? I've like never put in buttons, and I'm like everything I do, I want to put but buttons on right now. So can I cry, misandry? Can I cry, misandry, really quick? And you don't have to care. Sure. Women get to wear skirts, and I know you're, you're going to tell me to wear a skirt after my speech. <laughs> but it's like 2023. <laughs> well, I do have the guilt. I do have the kill, but I'd look funny if I wore that every day. But it's easy to make a dress, and you have to like making a pair of pants is way more intricate than people think it that it is. It is, yeah. Getting the crotch seam right, and depending on how you sew your legs, whether you sew them the crotch seam last by the stick the pant leg into the other method, and you run the risk of things not being turned out backwards. Last year, I said F it and made a bunch of board shorts because I because like I would always mess up on the crotch piece. Always. Always. It's just like setting in a sleeve. It, like it I think it's the exact same thing. Do you know what's hey. really funny? Hey Liz, I am so glad that you said that. I um I hate um putting sleeves on anything, but I do it on every project. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> well, you can't always be sleeveless. Not everything's a vest. Exactly. Th that's the thing. Like, I'm obsessed with vest. And, like, six or seven months ago, I had to have a talk with myself. Like, well, you got to start adding sleeves, bucko. Because you look crazy with a million sleeveless <laughs> vest. <laughs> oh. With my length of hair from behind in a dress, I would mess a lot of folks <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. Well, that happened dresses to me one are definitely time, easier I mean. to make, but I don't. People can wear what they wear, whatever you want. I don't give a frick. <laughs> I will never live those pants down. No, long, you won't. Because <laughs> people know my quality. People know my quality. Like I know how to make stuff, and you can tell. Like, oh, he smoked six J's when he was making that. Like, there are certain pieces where you're like. Ooh, Godless was taking bong rips on this one. And then somebody there's other ones like oh, their and the <laughs> ruler. somebody could misread their rulers. <laughs> but those pants, those pants were awful. Not even my rollerblades could save those things. Those pants were awful. <laughs> no, you'd need to rollerblade for another like 30 pounds and be emaciated. <laughs> but they're but they're weirdly indestructible. So I have these like weird pleather indestructible pants now. They're like, they're not motorcycle pants because let's be real, Mike, motorcycle pants are double and triple reinforced, you know, but. You probably could lift your leg up over the bike to ride in. <laughs> no, I made the, um, they weirdly uh, sit like this because I made the crotch wrong. Okay, right. <laughs> and so I thought they, it was they, too both... wrong in the too tight in the pulley tighty area. Well, I added more space and I ended up adding okay. too much. Okay. So, so that's when you just get out, break out the sporin and be like, I, I did this on purpose. It was, it was, I'll never, there's. 
I had so much tenting in those pants, you could have gone camping in them. Oh my god, I got, that was like the first video. That was the first video where people were like, All right, bro, I respect you, but these pants suck. They were like, These are not, these are not on par. These are not on par. <laughs> these were a godless fail and not a godless glory. <laughs> But see, that's my thing. Like, I'll throw it. Like, I'll make a video. I don't care. I'll show you my mistakes, man. I'll show you. Like, even my hood. Like, I, I admitted. Like, no, nah, I messed up. <laughs> I, no, I think it's good to show the blooper videos because everybody. So much of like Instagram and YouTube is like the perfectly curated. Like, I trained for six hours. I got this trick right once, and this is the perfect version. I'm going to show out versus the five and a half hours of failing at doing it that took that in the background. I love watching people when they show, when they break the fourth wall and they're like, no, nah, this took 175 tries before I got the card, you know, through the fan while it was going, you know? I, okay. Dick Dickerson, Dick Dawson, not Dick Dickerson. Wow. I shilled the show in the shills discord. I shilled the show in the shills discord. I shilled the show in the shills discord. Ha. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a pack of pepper. Peter, pick Peter Piper picked pickled a pack of peppers. Peter Piper picked, picked a pack of pickled peppers. <laughs> so when I was a kid, I used to talk like this. And let me tell you, speech therapy works. Because I'd still be talking like this if I didn't get speech therapy. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack. I see. I, I'm terrible. I am ter Let's, Oh, here's another unique New York. 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 <laughs> unique New York. This is why I couldn't be a rapper. I'm really terrible at uh, unique New York. New York. Nope, 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 nope. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. See now. And the f sad thing is English is my first language. <laughs> oh, we're when getting I, when, I Spanish, <laughs> when I speak Spanish, I go off. <laughs> I talk about that all the time. In my videos, I say that uh, all the time. You know what? That is one thing. When I watch the <laughs> live streams, when I watch the live streams back, I watch myself getting more and more progressively stoned. As that's why I, if you've seen, I haven't hit my Hobbit pipe because I sit here, I start chiefing that thing, and I get ripped, and I don't even realize it. <laughs> it's not a. Oh, I. What's the song about a pick? Oh, what? Something and a peck. Oh God, peck not peck. I'm a, yeah, Killer Ray is yeah. challenging you. You have to do it at the beginning of the stream tomorrow before you've ripped any and try it again. <laughs> I'm on a war tour with Muhammad, my man. No, I've already messed it up. Something, something with the mic in my hand. I'm obsessed with Tribe Called Quest. That's like, that's, uh, you know, sixth grade, junior high, and high school. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and fun story. I the um i've seen slayer like 15 times i've seen ozzy more times than people see their parents i really went to rap um to rap concerts and i went to rock the bells i saw tribe to call quest and it was an awesome show but Nas, the rapper jumped out of the helicopter and this was in it was probably let's see how old is my son 13 this was probably 14 years ago it was probably the night that he was made <laughs> <laughs> but freaking uh, Nas jumped out of the helicopter and screamed F Fox News for 15 minutes. <laughs> and it was so dark that you couldn't see the helicopter. So it wasn't as spectacular as you think it should have been. <laughs> good luck <clears throat> parenting. Good luck. Come back safely. <laughs> Send up flares if you're in trouble. Bump it in your bump. It. In your bump it in your cheap. Wow, that was of all the things that was the hardest for me to say, Killer. Right? You got that was good. They, you know, between L <laughs> Cool J, between L Cool J and Tribe Called Quest, they probably sold more Jeeps and the movie Above the Rim. They probably sold more Jeeps than Jeep could do in their own commercials. <laughs> I literally um, would buy cars that these guys would buy. So th th that's better than advertising. That's like really good advertising. I still don't think it's going to help Bud Light, though. <laughs> the problem is, like, we, we're, you know, 
they get us with emotions. They get everybody with emotions. Like I said yeah. in my video, I'm not even a Flash fan. The second I saw Michael Keaton, I was like, I have to go see the Flash movie. Shut up and take my money now. Here's my Flash. money. Here's all of it. Golden. <laughs> oh, I've got golden juggling balls, and I kept thinking about doing a horrible act about calling it my Flash golden balls, but I can't juggle, <laughs> so that's the worst part of the act. I can toss my balls, and it's me chasing them around because I'm still in remedial juggling. I can do two balls. Three balls is one ball too many. <laughs> Do you know what's really funny? In um, I don't know if they still do it, but in my day, in junior high school, they had one semester where they taught you um, circus tricks. <gasps> like literally, like at my um, at my junior high, we were literally juggling um, bowling balls, but they were like soft um, sand filled ones, but they weren't like they were soft. You couldn't like beat, you couldn't bludgeon someone with them, you know. But like <laughs> you had to work really hard. We literally got graded on juggling. And I'll never forget thinking, when the F am I ever going to use this? In my, in, this has no practical application in real life. No, but it really does. Because I figured out part of my problem is, <laughs> A, I didn't play video games. I played violin when I was a little kid. So that hand-eye coordination, I don't have. I like, look at the, sc look at, look at the screen, jeepers, creepers look at the music stand and I don't look at my fingers and I don't look at my hand, but my eye, my left eye gets to a point and it stops tracking. So I literally can't see the ball, even though I don't have mm -hmm. any visual deficits. My eye tracking is wonky. Oh, golden balls. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, that's I'm my too, I'm too shaky. My brain keeps on being like, where's your third hand? I'm over analytical. So in my <laughs> own in brain, my brain is. <laughs> now that would be a show. Now that would be a show. <laughs> you should just make a little hand. Oh, God, you need a pair of pants with a little plastic doll hand sticking out. <laughs> That's feasible. That's feasible. <laughs> I'm cosplaying the three handed human. <laughs> oh, no, Gilroy did. The junior high I went to, man, we would have been in prison. It was violent. The junior high I went to, you couldn't have. <laughs> Do you know what? I laughed because we had free weights. Like, my junior high was like old school prison. We had rubber rubber stuff and free weights. <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, I mean, I remember in not junior high, in grade school, we did, like, gymnastics and rhythmic gymnastics, and those stuff was fun. And we did try to learn how to, like, juggle with the scarves but that's not the same as fondling balls oh yeah that, it's actually traumatizing because i remember being like all right i'm gonna kitty protest but my parents were militant so if, if i got a complaint sent home that was you know actually had consequences back in the day right, you couldn't <laughs> complain about having period cramps to get you out of gym class no no no, no, no. not that not back then. They wouldn't let me get away with that. <laughs> no, but those these people who are complaining that they're having miscarriages, if you don't have a uterus, like, come on. And a tax that... and juggling would be a comedy act. <laughs> Sorry, I, I think real done. 90% of that is for attention. Like, all, like, like, going back to Twitter, like, one of the things that drives me crazy, someone will just say something edgy, and then a million people um, follow it. Recently on Black Twitter, I think I just like saying that. It's not, it's not like it's a secret site. It's literally just Black people it's on Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> but recently, this guy, um, he told a lie about a woman in SWV and four million people um, believed it and were like sharing it like exploded and she had to go on a live stream and be like are you kidding me like this person has no bearing in my life what's going on guys like so Twitter's dangerous <laughs> right but I don't have a job where you could hold me like accountable through the court of public opinion so I'm okay if you trash me online like go right ahead Right, I work. I own my own business. No, I don't. Yeah. But maybe if I did, then <laughs> the corporate overlords could be like, "You're not allowed to say that kind of stuff." But that's why I have my nom de plume. 
if you called my job and talked trash about me, they would agree with you and be like, man, I've known this guy for 35 years. He's everything you say he is. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, that would be so. Can I call and just get your mom on the line and be like, how do you make tortillas? <laughs> <laughs> I should tell you step by step. There, see, but the problem with homemade Mexican food, like, literally since easter i've probably gained like 10 pounds like i look like i'm like two months pregnant right now because i have homemade tortillas carne asada rice and beans like <laughs> I, it's unreal it's oh no i once lost an arm and a leg in fifth grade and still went to school <laughs> oh uphill bowl please you know what's really funny? Like, I look at my like my dad's generation. Like, he legitimately um, wouldn't have shoes if he had, like all his, all of his stuff was hand me downs and stuff. Like, he came from that generation. Like, we know luxury compared to the nineteen forties and fifties generation. You know, yeah, for, for sure. And I have to get back to this, killer, right? Absolutely, trust but verify. Yeah, it's you can't just trust and believe because it people are lying assholes <laughs> big time and i honestly i think that's one thing that drives people um crazy with me because i tell crazy yarns and i'm like oh i own a tractor hey ninja i'm sitting on that tractor and it's old and rusty but i own it and the the I other one the Kabuda, i own that one. And, the, and the other one i own it paid itself off <laughs> i yep, paid I that one in payment and a Kabuda out there <laughs> But like, no, people, honestly, that's one of the reasons I started streaming by myself is because people are, they'll tell fairy tales or, okay, it's one thing to lie, but it's another to live a lie. It's another, because then you have to constantly think about it. I hate to quote Judge Judy, but the lie, you don't have to think about the truth. A no, lie is like, like. The best lie is they have a kernel of truth in them. <laughs> so you can kind of remember <laughs> the story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's I'm one of those, <laughs> like I like. It's just one of those things, like why front? Like I tell people all the time, like I was homeless for ten years. It wasn't glorious. I traveled around. I did all these spectacular things, but I was a real life train hopping hobo. It wasn't you know? It wasn't all swashbuckling and piratery, you know? <laughs> no, those trains get cold in the, in, oh, yeah. in, the, in December <laughs> at the top of no, the. No, I summer. learned it. I'm like a bird, man. When it when the clouds hit, I start heading south. I'm like a bird. That's why I <laughs> we call them snowbirds up in New York. <laughs> but they just went to Florida. Oh, I'll never forget that. I told you the story about when the lady cursed out all the bikers and called us flatlanders. I remember asking my mom, like, what's a flatlander? And she's like, us. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> Oh man, I have um, "Come on, Eileen" stuck in my head because I'm Come obsessed on, with watching. I'm down on my knees. I'm thinking about redoing. Okay, so now that YouTube will no longer um, allow me to do the, to, um, they'll allow me to play the music but not show the video. You're getting lip syncs from now on. I'm gonna now you're now, the you asked for it. Now you have to yep. suffer with me actually singing the songs. You asked for oh, this gonna, punishment yeah. the YouTubes. <laughs> you and did my, this to yourself. My voice, my voice sounds like this, but I sound like a brain cat when I sing. So, because <laughs> Odin has I, taught you well. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, Odin is a singer. Oh, 4 30 in the morning. Fronting to thank you. See, that's another thing. It's so different here, but you can't play fake anything because eventually someone will call you, like, will snatch you. <laughs> I'm not kidding. There were people who thought it was funny to wear the Sons of Anarchy patches, and like, man, you get beat up. You wear if you, man, don't dress like Godless Owen if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I only appropriate for my own cultures. Slavic. <laughs> yes, Alibaba. Yes. And I watched the video today. I was like, I have that whole outfit with the coveralls and the dirty shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that with no socks and shoes. I think that's kind of gross, but I'll rock it. 
some loafers with no socks. Oh, gr- oh, I no. think that's gross, but I, I'm it extremely, gross, embarrassed. which is why you need to do it with your tennis socks pulled up to your knees in your loafers with your board shorts and a vest with no shirt underneath. That's not a bad idea. So I know Sold. I'm brilliant. <laughs> I'm not. I'm an easy sell. I'm an easy sell. No, no it's, but I, I have I'm the s- best ideas. <laughs> I'm serious. And you're like, <laughs> YouTube, yes, YouTube wants to start uh, messing around with me. I'll start lip syncing like it's RuPaul's Drag Race. I am not playing. Like YouTube wants to mess around with me, like, um, because I think for some reason showing the video is a no-no, but playing the song isn't. We built this city on rock <laughs> and roll. And so, like, and so basically, um, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. It has to do with the copyright and who owns the songs. And music copyright is one of the craziest realms of co- because the lyricist owns the, the rights to the words, but then the composer owns the right to the music. And then the twain shall meet or not meet. But what about the video? Because like they don't want me to and show the video, but I can... person, that's a whole different right. Then you have to fight with all three of the who owns the right to the video, which is usually the production <laughs> management company or the videographer. I'm... Because if you get your photo taken, you might be the subject, but you do not own the photo that is owned by the photographer. I think my next video is going to be all lip syncing. Get ready for Mr. Humphreys. I'm bringing back Are You Being Served? I In my computer, I have the... Okay, so Are You Being Served was on in the UK. But then they had an Australian version, which was way raunchy. And John Iman, who was in the original show, he like played like he moved to Australia to um, help open the store and everything. And he was in every episode... And it's literally the same thing as um, Are You Being Served, but with different actors. They just all have Australian accents. Just leave me on the haberdashery floor. That's where all the sewing (laughs) motions are, please. (laughs) You know, it took me a minute to figure out. That was during 2020. I was Googling, what is haberdashery? It took me a minute. I knew that when I watched that the first time at like 10. (laughs) Or somebody told me. I don't know how that came into my brain. I, love I know. That show I was just thinking: Did we turn into the? Is this the karaoke hour? What's next up for us to sing terribly? <laughs> I am so mad at. Uh, I love. Are you being served, Butterfly? I'm so mad at YouTube for what they've done to me. I feel betrayed. <laughs> I feel betrayed. I'm trying not to be an emotional baby about it. <laughs> they. they... That's, this is a safe place for feelings. <laughs> I'm. They won't let me show my my cheesy commercials. Trust yeah. the Midas touch. Come on, who owns that? Seriously, <laughs> who is Midas even in existence anymore? Oh, I'm so mad. And you know, like they copyrighted my all my Japanese um commercials. No one I know speaks Japanese. No one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's a really no, small minded thing to say. But they're they're coming up on the train tracks holding a rubber ducky. Oh my god! Hopefully they're safe and rescue the rubber ducky. (laughs) I love yes, minister. Yes, prime minister. Lots last of the summer wine. Oh, it ain't half hot, (laughs) mum. I'm upset. Everything that Kilroy said and Butterfly as well is literally what I watch. But last of the summer wine, their opening makes me want to cry it's a harmonica opening and it's really like it's just last of the, of the um, summer wine is actually a really deep show because nora batty um she's lit- like she's one of the characters but she's in it from the beginning all the way to the end and they talk about people that didn't come home from world war ii like that 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 show made me cry a couple times it is such a good show I'm obsessed with British television, especially the 80s and 90s stuff. Just obsessed with it. Because honestly, like modern television sucks. Oh, if you guys are bored, I watch um, After Henry. It's a hilarious show. It's one of those 1980s shows that has a laugh track. 
Prunella Scales is in it. Oh, you should, no, what's the one you with the two out. ladies? Hold on. Human. He's not paying attention to me. There's a show he knows. They know. I'm going to forget. Oh. And I, I, um, I watch all these shows while I'm sewing because I watch the news or something and like they'll say something off and I'll miss a stitch. Like, what? <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's a surefire way to have your sleeves not set in the right way in your pants legs. You're going to cut I can't believe I'm telling. Fronts. I can't believe I'm telling secrets, but like I'm not a fan of sleeves. I dress like I'm... Plus, it's hot here, so I dress like I live in Australia anyways. But like I'm just not a fan of putting sleeves on. <laughs> I, I don't mind. it. It's fine, especially when you can have such cute sleeves with little lace details. I mean, who would not sleep? Not absolutely. Want sleeves like these. I and agree adorable. with you, Kilroy. I agree with you. It like that is one thing. It is calming. It is calming. I like the older episodes with Alvin because, like, he like that's how I want to be when I'm older. A bald guy with nothing to do, running around, causing trouble. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean when you're older? Isn't that it? I mean, isn't that the current reality? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, I, but they're full gray. I'm like, I am salt and pepper. <laughs> yeah, don't talk about that. I need to order some hair dye from Amazon. <laughs> I'll go through. <laughs> I'm, oh, man. Oh, I'm like, see, now I'm going to watch all of those shows. Baba, you make me laugh. Yes, everybody has to go through sleeve hell and trousers hell. I think they're the same place in the sewing levels of hell and purgatory. <laughs> There's just something about making pants where I'm like, oh, we're to the crotch now. Just make a board shorts or, or make it make it pants with no with no freaking zipper. You mean chaps. <laughs> exactly. I only sew chaps on this stage on this channel. <laughs> during during the pandemic, I had this like midlife crisis where I'm like, you know, what? I'm just gonna make board shorts. I'm over. I'm over this. So I, I'm just not practiced in that. I think it's easier. I mean, you don't need to do the leg in method because you can sew the out seams and then just sew up the whole inseam all in one step like there's no shame in that method of doing it i don't think i see what you're saying i do it the complicated way i see exactly what i know exactly what you're saying i had to visualize it but i know exactly what you're saying yeah because that's what and i did for it. these and it they look just as crotchy as <laughs> if i'd done it the fancy way <laughs> I think that's part of the problem, too, is that there, like a certain things I learned to do it the wrong way, so I'm just fundamentally doing it the wrong way. <sighs> it's not a wrong way. It's just the different way. Plus, it, sometimes it can make that crotch part very bulky if you've already got the legs sewn up. Oh, no, actually, that's where it turns. That makes, never mind, scratch that. You have less seam bulk if you do it the old-fashioned fancy way versus my crappy new age way of doing it. Oh, who's Siegfried and who's Roy? I don't know. Uh, but I, do you know? If I knew how to put oh, up sorry, a pole, sorry. then we could have a, a pole. But I'm not that fancy yet. Okay, so I have Holy Grail T-shirts and T-shirts that I go looking for. I am always on the look for old Siegfried and Roy t-shirts. I have two. They are so lit. Whenever I go to Vegas, the problem is if you go to a thrift store in Vegas, they sell them for 60 bucks each. I bought one at, in the San Fernando Valley for 50 cents. <laughs> and I wore that thing until it faded. I mean, until the black was gray. I loved that stupid Siegfried and Roy shirt. And did you at least cut out the logo to put into a battle vest it's still that's not a bad idea it's in my um my black t-shirt collection like i i have in a the stack middle, of, in the middle bedroom of doom yes and i have a stack of like i will never get rid of these and you know what's so sad because i hooked isaiah up when he was a little kid like i have um 
a Beastie Boy t-shirt that's this big. I have oh. like, oh yeah. When um when my ex wife's son gets bigger, I'm gonna hook him up so bad because I have no, all of Isaiah's old clothes. Graduation quilt when he graduates oh, high school, God. make a quilt of all of those cute baby things that you saved. Oh. He like and because he wouldn't complain, like I would dress him like I would put him in shirts. He has a bunch of like skateboarding is not a crime t shirts and like. <laughs> I'll never forget. I sent him to school with a bad religion T-shirt, and the his teacher was like, "This band was before my time," and I'm like, "I don't like you anymore." I do not <laughs> like. Because <laughs> I forget, I'm ten years older than the average teacher. You know what I'm saying? Like, these kids are. You know, I'm fifteen. I'm like way older than the average teacher nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Which is better that your kid's homeschooled right now because you don't know what you can't trust what they he'd be indoctrinated in in public school these days. I just don't trust it. I'm telling you, like watching fight videos has ruined me. It has do you know we were so violent in high school? We were like medieval, we were just cave people, but we didn't touch adults. We never no. touched adults. We also Man, didn't have so much to record our conquests, though. True. True. That's true. There was one time, like, in, in my... There was one time me and my friends, like, we lined up with these other kids, and we literally ran at each other, like, medieval style, you know? Like, <laughs> we were Get idiots. Just but, out. <laughs> but we all went home. We all went home. You know what I'm saying? Like, Right. Nobody, nobody went to the got, hospital for stitches. No nope, broken bones. Nope. No ripped faces. Nobody was coming back trying to, like, you know do revenge or anything i don't know and i'm not i'm not promoting violence at all ever don't talk out your problems i'm just saying it was just a different time <laughs> it was i agree with you kilroy i think that's the thing um like i live in the yuppie area and they have um hardcore problems and they have gangs like gang gangs no thank you no thank you my kid still watches um my kid still watches Pokemon. I just added him. But like <laughs> he's I don't think he's subscribed to you. I don't think he's subscribed to you. <laughs> I don't think he's watching the stream right now. We would know. We would know because he would, right, you would be, be able like, to tell me because you've got you his YouTube me? tracked. You're like, how dare you subscribe to this channel? This is too much this is not safe for kids channel. <laughs> no, that's one thing that he like I did get on him about because he switched his age on his account and I'm like why'd you switch your age? Why'd you switch what, what are you trying to hide? Because he he like can go in um because I have the master key and he knows my date of birth. And then my computer was like, Your date of birth was used for blah blah blah. And I'm like, What is this? Because I thought I got hacked, but it was Isaiah's account and he just used <laughs> my your age. Kid hacked you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? Yes. Something's chirping. That's, What's cooking? That's, that's the ice cream. Ice cream, man. Oh. I have my uh, garage door open. So that person stuck me at $3 a pop, okay? They come by every day. Imagine how much money they get me money through Friday. Especially this time of year. Matter of fact, I got to make sure I got ones for when Isaiah comes back. No, that just sounds like too many chunky kids on your knee, on your block. I got one. I have ones. Like, um, and she comes around. See how she's driving slow? I'm like looking like you guys can see my camera. See, I'm like, no, I can't see. <laughs> but I can see the boffin. <laughs> she's not she's not dumb though, because she gets rich off of my neighborhood because grown adults, pot's legal, you know. So grown right. adults are stopping her. <laughs> no, I want the either the taco bus that drives around or the margarita wagon, please. Yeah, Kilroy, um, the sun's out. It was like a 70, almost 80 degree day. Everybody's outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were in full summer mode. The, the sun's out right now still. You know, we're on the West Coast, so the sun doesn't set until like eight something, you know? I, the sun is out, but it's supposed to be in the 30s and the night times for the next week. It is not even springtime here. The lilacs oh, have good. not even, don't even what have leaves. Right and have not right bloomed. Now, it's six to seven degrees Fahrenheit. Would you also like to check the high for today? Yes, Alexa, I would. Thank you. You're so welcome. 
Your kindness really gives me a charge. Hope you've enjoyed your weekend. Just tell me the temperature, Remember, Alexa. It was 66. It's 66 right now. She was supposed to tell you the high and she let you down. It's because I said I confused her because I said thank you. Oh, she thought you were done talking, conversing. <laughs> and it, it learns from you. And so because I say thank you for everything, but that ends all conversations. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Oh, <laughs> Ali Baba, I wish there was something like a taco bus here. Fear. Or do you want the poutine train? <laughs> you know what's so funny? We have both here. In LA, we have both the taco, the taco train and the poutine. Uh, we have food trucks everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, if you the name Canistoga <laughs> poutine wagon? That would be funny. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have poutine <laughs> with the horses clopping. <laughs> and the only reason I know this is because they go to all the hockey games because, like you know, like a lot That's of the people that people are hang out. Well, also a lot of people who um, a lot of people move from Canada to LA and like you know just there's a lot yeah. of Canadian immigrants in in Los Angeles a lot. <laughs> 51 and dropping here I have my windows open I'm not ready to open my windows yet I, I oh, want a Cincinnati here. chili truck oh my god because that's the one that's got like spaghetti in their chili they're funny in Cincinnati <laughs> do you know what's you really get, funny like, the three oh. way the four way or the five way now you're making me crave my old elementary school used to serve restaurant style food like real <gasps> like they had cooks and they had this chili spaghetti thing that was better than my mom make it. And I'm glad she's not here to hear me say that. <laughs> no mom's she, allowed. I mean, not that's not true. Well, <laughs> you're all welcome. <laughs> Jesus, my mom's a decent cook. And like that stuff is oh. But keep in mind, I went to school when we actually had real lunch ladies. Real ones. Here. Smoking cigarettes in the parking lot with their hairnets. Oh god! And they're ladles. Real they're one. giant one cup ladles. Oh, oh and yeah. Bobble is close to the poutine capital of the world, but not many taco places. Yeah, because on the East Coast, you're more likely to get food from from Puerto Rico than you are good Mexican food. Really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't meet anybody from Mexico until I moved west. But everybody who spoke Spanish, Spanish. Spanish was all Puerto Rican. I'm glad you're back, Liz. And man and rubber ducky are all safe. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no rubber duckies were hurt during the filming of this live stream. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my gosh. Three and a half hours. Thanks all for riding so long. I'm out of sewing projects because I actually need to be a good sewist and either pick things out or turn on the iron, which I buried my ironing board trying to make move around furniture earlier. You know that the ice cream truck stuck me for almost 20 something bucks last week. How much ice cream did you buy? <laughs> well, like I'll um, get something for Isaiah and like the neighbor kid, if he runs out, I'm like, all right, kid, get, put it on my tab, you know. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm, the, they like me, they like me, because I'm, I'm the oh. adult who shows up with cash. <laughs> they, the kid, the neighborhood kids love me. I have this to try for later. Oh, Ooh. it's reflecting. What is this? Pen pinguinos. I think this is like. I'm going to go with the Indian version of Hostess chocolate cupcake thingies. <laughs> so Spanish. anyone in L.A. I got it wrong. Sorry. Anyone in L.A. will know what that is. I am okay. addicted to those. They, they sell those here. They sell them okay. here. Anyone in L.A. will know. I am a whole I look at I'm like, that's a Hostess Twinkie. <laughs> They're not a Twinkie, oh, but them. a Hostess chocolate cupcake. Uh, words are... I, we, we are feeding fast over at the circus. <laughs> so, Gilroy, um, when I was younger, I used well, my parents because I grew up in a big family. They would get the those big two or three gallon um, plastic buckets of ice cream. I miss those. I miss those. 
but yeah, they still have them at Costco, but you don't need that for two of you. Or no, I, I've had to learn that. Um, like, cause I obsessively buy sweets because I'm a stoner. You would laugh at my grocery haul when I come home. Like <laughs> Isaiah has all this kale. He buys carrots and I'm like cookies and cakes and I need cheese. It's and, and like some sort of cracker I can dip in my coffee. <laughs> Yeah, no, I try, to, I try to avoid the McMuffin food. I'd never seen these before, Alibaba. My human brought it home to me and left it on my sewing table. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> Where I live, we, we have really exotic food here. That's why when everybody like what got mad at and was it bimbo when they endorsed Trump? I'm like, Oh man, they own LA. There's nothing I can do. They, their products are everywhere here. They own us. <laughs> well, it's nice to be friends with the Indian corner store owner. I get all sorts <laughs> of funny things. The, Oh, what did I have the other day? Steak flavored Lay's chips. Oh no, they were in Wellington. I take it back. <laughs> Portland is crazy. People do like it's freezing. I, that's how people knew I was not from Portland. They'd be wearing shorts and I'm bundled. I, I do. Yeah. <laughs> no, in New York, it gets to be 40. And you're like, it's bikini season. What are you talking about? Yes, you no, we do, do need. <laughs> Kilroy, no, we do not need a three gallon ice cream for two people. No. And you know, I do not like ice cream unless it's 100 degrees, which doesn't not happen that often i make ice cream soup i mix it with milk and i literally sit there with a spoon and i will just like oh man it's poor you man's mouth. just make a root beer float or if you were drinking a beer float <laughs> a guinness floaty <laughs> do you know whatever i did sorry so I the rubber ducky is good post. Whatever I did did work because last time, whenever I'd come in this close to my mic, I would feel like the um, electricity. So whatever I did did work. Right, because it would chop some my hair. Stuff. <laughs> so the rubber ducky safe. It was on a fishing pole. <laughs> that is funny. Who has a hangs a rubber ducky off of a fishing line? Yeah, I don't like it if it hurts my teeth, and it needs to be at a hundred plus degrees. I really hadn't had ice cream in a while, and Isaiah bought a bunch of Klondike bars, and I forgot they were in the freezer, and last night I attacked them, a.k.a. ate half the package. I was like, oh, you went Viking myself. style on those. <laughs> Sitting, you know, that's the one thing um, I forget about being alone, because Isaiah's with me Monday through Friday. On the weekend, man, I'm sitting at the kitchen table, and my boxer's eating Klondike bars, watching hockey. Like I'm like, oh, this is heaven. Oh, this is heaven. <laughs> <laughs> literally was me last night watching highlights because the playoffs are coming <laughs> you eat ice cream whenever you want Kilroy there's no judging <coughs> here <laughs> to each their own in the ice cream eating see butterfly no yeah, ice cream with butterfly milk. Knows. That's actually how I learned to do it was mixing it with grape juice or all kinds of weird stuff. Oh yeah. Maybe it's a California I'm not, thing. I'm not I'm not dis this is not my disgusted face. This is my inquisitive face. <laughs> oh, I would do some sketchy yeah, stuff for a Klondike bar, Kilroy. I'd do some <laughs> sketchy stuff. I'd sew you some <laughs> pants naked. <laughs> See, butterfly knows ice cream soup is where it's at. It's like a step below a mall. I love that stuff. And I've been eating it like that since I was a little, little kid. <laughs> I know. I do kind of miss real milkshakes with malt powder. They just taste different than like fast food milkshakes. I have um, malting powder here because my son is extremely literal. So he's like, what are you doing? That's not a malt. Let me show you, weird human. What is wrong with you? I can't believe I, I can't believe I came from you. <laughs> I know that's so funny. I like malted milkshakes, but I don't like the malt balls covered in chocolate, the crunchy ones. Really? I, you know, okay. So, fun fact: my parents were so strict. I didn't drink soda until I was twenty-five, and like, 
Uh, so there's a lot of tastes I didn't develop till I was older in life. I didn't start eating those until I was in my 30s. So you never know. There's I'm in my 40s now. And I have a question for you. Were, were, are there things that you used to eat that you wouldn't eat now? Mm-hmm. Yes, but only because I don't want to be a McMuffin. So like <laughs> Hot Pockets <laughs> and Tostitos oh. and to- pizza rolls like there's some things i like nostalgically enjoy but you would never find them in my shopping cart now because i <laughs> um i'm short and i don't want to my waist circumference to be as round as large <laughs> as my height circum or my height <laughs> so i it's yeah <laughs> right now i have Tortino pizza rolls in my freezer right now. Stop um, making me hungry. <laughs> six months ago, I don't know what was wrong with me. They had like a five pound box on sale. Oh, God. And so, you know, I was ripped at the grocery store and I went and bought <laughs> five pounds of freaking Tortino <laughs> pizza rolls. And, and I'll tell you why. It's because I'm allergic to tomatoes. And um, there's nothing tomatoes in that at all whatsoever. So when I eat them, I don't break out. I don't. Like... <laughs> no EpiPens to hand with Tostino t- t- pizza rolls. Whatever chemical they use to make it taste like tomatoes is amazing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the magic of food science. But that's the problem because I'm allergic to everything. I weirdly. Um, I'm not allergic to certain chemically induced foods, but I'm allergic to the original product. <laughs> right, because the the whole product has all of the chemicals in it. But if you get something from the lab that's just one of those elements, it's not the full plethora of phytochemicals. Oh yeah, I'm allergic. I have just a list, but when I eat the imitation, like nothing happens. I've learned that over the years. Oh, man. I don't think I would eat a Hot Pocket pizza thing ever again <laughs> going on 30 plus years. No Hot Pockets. I concur, Alibaba. Let's see here. When's the last time? Yes, I'm probably getting close to something like that in the years where I've not. Plus, I haven't had a microwave since. Oh, oh my God. Do I... I have a microwave in Seattle? Kilroy, no. you and I are the same person. You and I are the exact same person. People are like, oh, how'd you lose that weight? I'm like, this is all anxiety and self-hatred. Look how skinny I am. I'm an emotional non-eater. I get stressed out and I'm like, I get nauseous, want to vomit and lose my appetite. <laughs> same, same, same. I, I, I am, um, it's, it's to the point, like my son, knows, like Isaiah will eat, be eating breakfast and he's like, you need to eat something. Before you get hypoglycemic at lunch. Yeah. <clears throat> I wish I could lose that fat that easy, but I've been modeled to have too much estrogen and progesterone and some fat distribution that helps me to survive the famine. <laughs> I'm, I like, I go back and forth with, um, with Hot Pockets just because Nestle came and stole all of our water and then literally made Hot Pockets and sold it back to us. Oh, God. <laughs> There's nothing more gangster than getting your water stolen and then having to buy a product from the people who stole it from you, you know? Yep. <laughs> I know. I knew somebody who was getting ready to sell water rights to Nestle where I am, and I'm like, I can't tell you how to use the rights to your own land, but... <sighs> okay. They they destroy the environment wherever. They, they're an environmental hazard. Yeah. Well, they all those big... Of, co- all yeah. the, they all are... And especially, they always go to the beautiful places because northern, actual northern California is <laughs> breathtaking. It's breathtaking. It it's beautiful. Nestle went up there and took all the water. And, and then now, and the funny thing is, they took our water. A year later, all of a sudden, L.A. was magically in a drought. That's why people hate Kamala Harris. Magically. Because she, she brokered the deal. That's like, like a lot of Californians, <clears throat> they'll spit on the ground when they say her name because she sold us. 
she sold us. <laughs> I know, but then it's so funny how I was hearing folks say like she represents the backbone of the Democratic Party because it's black women is the backbone of the Democrats right now. She, if any in any other country, she would be considered a far right Republican. If she lived in any other country, she is so conservative yeah. it's not even funny. And I'm not I'm not anti conservative. I'm, I'm just saying she is our Democratic our Democrats would be conservatives in the UK. Like in the UK, they have like socialists, they have um, communist parties. We don't have that here in America. We have Republican and Democrat. Yeah. <laughs> and the Libertarian you know. Party that can't get its act together. Oh, they're, I, they're you too know, much it, infighting. I used to say that this got me in trouble in a, in a few libertarian circles because I just love poking the bear. But they would like, you know, because they're ideal. They're idealists. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I would always ask, besides Rand Paul, who else did you guys elect that actually did anything? And I would do this. <laughs> yeah. Or they'd name someone I'd never heard of that was that had come and gone before I was born, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to add, all right, we got 20 minutes left before the stream kicks us off. And I know for some of you, it's way late. So I'm going to respect people's bedtime. Anything you'd like to shill? Tomorrow night, we'll be boogieing on the Godless Sewing channel. Same bad time, same bad channel. Um, you know, made, making all the haters angry. <laughs> same old, same old. <laughs> all right. Don't wait till tomorrow when you can be fabulous today and don't laugh at others unless you've laughed at yourself. All right, bye. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, I keep trying to touch my keyboard and it doesn't work.